last live from Ireland. So um, we're in this beautiful um, city of Dublin and I'll just show you. It's a uh, it's been an actually okay day. It's been cloudy, but it has, you know, the rain has held off. And this is the Grand Canal Docks. Uh, a really wonderful area to go and visit some pubs, the theatres around the corner, and um, a very great spot to go for a little stroll and feed the ducks on the canal. So, our last live, and um, for this one, I've made it quite special. I've made it purely vintage. So, a lot of vintage pieces. We've got vintage Hermes Kellys to Chanel's. We've also got some unique Celine Macadam designs. We also have some Dior and also some your classics, uh, which is Louis Vuitton. So, hello, Alison, how are you doing? So, I do apologize for the late start. However, we will get started. And I have the lovely Jessie who is, say hi. Hi, everyone. I hope you can hear her. She's moderating for us tonight. Hello, Zan. Hello, Mary. And hello, Jen. Hi. Hi, I'm so excited to join you guys this evening. Now, if this is the first time you have joined one of our lives, how it works, there's just three things you need to participate. You need to watch us, which you're doing on your device, on your laptop, and then you need to shop. And how you shop is that as I am presenting those items, uh, I'll be showing you the condition, giving you some factoids about the bag, and some demonstrations of styling tips. And then the lovely Jessie will pop and pin the product icon above the top left hand corner and it's interactive so all you need to do is just tap on the icon and it will take you straight to the website where you can see further images read the copy and most importantly there's an add to cart button and then finally the third thing you need to do is participate say hi and um, we have Pierre Jo who's an amazing Chanel collector all the way from Finland we have Brenna who is like our godmother who gives us words of wisdom we also have Leanne who is a wonderful regular we also have Zam as well who gives us very supportive support and of course Jen who is absolutely crazy but we love her as well so yes Mary I will I can do that next so uh, during tonight's show we are covering all your customs and duties and um, we'll pin that in a moment um, so during this live show if we're covering all your customs and duties especially if um, you're shopping from outside the uh, UK so EU uh, Canada North America Australia Asia we're covering all your customs and duties and um, also we take all major forms of credit, debit and PayPal, as well as something called Split It. Split It issues, I have been informed, have now been resolved worldwide. So anybody with a credit card can check out. And the thing about Split It is that you can spread those payments over three, six, nine, 12 month plans, interest free. So you can manage those luxury purchases in a much more affordable way. The only caveat is that you need to have the full amount on your credit card when checking out. Um, yeah, oh, I didn't actually catch it, Sam. I just saw a little bit. Apparently, it was a hundred percent sell through. It was a white in the auction world. We call it a white glove sale. So yes. So um, you're probably wondering why we're in Ireland. Well, Ireland is the gateway to Europe, and what's in Europe? All out favorite brands chanel louis vuitton fendi gucci and because it's in euros um the euros is very competitive compared to the sterling we're passing those savings on to you so let's get started so mary you want you want me to go straight in i can show the chocolate brown kelly let's go for it gives you the rest of the evening to have a finger think about so it's the chocolate 28 mm -hmm. so it comes with its original dust bag you see it's a vintage dust bag and this is absolutely stunning this is a box calf you see in chocolate brown size 28 guys totally a vintage piece and if you can remind me the year of this piece yes it is 1988 it is from 1988 it is a r in circle stamp so it's from 1988 anybody born in 1988 put your hands up give us a heart I am almost 20 years more older than you. So, <laughs> so this bag is in the same year as birth as, your, as yourself. I mean, this is the Return Vintage Kelly and the condition is incredible for something from 1988. It's been well looked after, well stored, featuring the 24 karat gold gilding hardware, apparently the vintage models, 
was gilded in hardware. Most important things when we are um, shopping for vintage Kellys is you're always looking for the handles because the handles is where you know you hold it. The moisture will um, affect the handles. However, the handles has not cracked. That's the one thing we always look at. It has not cracked at all. So it's been really, really well looked after. And you can just see that beautiful box calf shine. I actually love box calf. I think it's a really um, very elegant le uh, leather. It has that beautiful, it gives off a beautiful shine and it's in wonderful condition. And you can see the little feet, one, two, three, four. And so in French, this is called the sanglais, which is the arms. And this is the turnstile, it's called the tourette. And if we open that up, it comes with uh, its original, it has its original key and clochette as well, which is being stored separately. And it's in excellent condition inside. Um, you just see the stamping there. It is such a wonderful, beautiful, oh, lots of, lots of, I know it is such a beautiful bag. So, I mean, and we haven't had a 28 last time we had a 28 kelly was back in january so what are we now coming up to may so it's been about four or five months which is incredible so to show you how it looks like on me i think 28 is a good size i personally have a 32 i actually do like the 32 i think 28 is the perfect size personally 20 25 is just too small for me for my lifestyle but that is the perfect everyday style now, this is a vintage piece. It does not come with a strap, just to warn you. However, it does come with the uh, key clochette as well as the original dust bag. Now, hit me with the price. Are we ready for the price? I'm ready for the price. Come on, tell me. Brenna, you tell me what the price. I was trying to tease them with a big <laughs> Are we ready? Everyone's going, oh my gosh, I can't. The price is only £6,500, which is US dollars Guys, this also includes all your customs and duties. I know it is beautiful. Zam, do you actually have a vintage Kelly? I know you buy a lot of brand new ones. Let us know if you have any vintage in your collection. Oh, it's beautiful. I know everyone, I mean, there's something nice about a classic black. But the brown is actually a very good seasonless color. It goes with everything. Sometimes if you wear too much black, it can look a bit somber. Well, this adds a nice neutral dark tone to it as well. So if you're wanting to purchase this item, all you need to do is just tap on that icon. So we're approaching nearly 100 people. I think lots of people are jumping on. Um, tonight is our very last show in Ireland. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's been wonderful. We have absolutely loved the city. I'm already planning a trip back with my own family as a long weekend away. It's the perfect little short city break um, just to visit. And also, you're only like within two hours to hit the countryside. And today, we were in the countryside where um, we were in an area where, was it Harry Potter was filmed? Yeah. Yeah, Harry Potter. It's, it's like Harry Potter, land. Game of Thrones land. Brave Heartland. It's this wild, rugged Irish landscape which is incredible. It was absolutely beautiful. Lots of um, flint buildings, uh, castles. So if you love history, um, it's definitely a place to visit. If you have visited Dublin, do let me know. Um, that is, um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts about on this place. So, amazing. So let me move on to other items while you ponder. Something a bit more purse friendly, literally purse friendly. We have this Chanel um, caviar skin um, purse. So if you're looking to have an everyday practical purse, um, this could be it. Um, it's a bifold wallet crafted from caviar skin, it features the CC logo. And what's nice about this little purse is that it opens up like this. It also has a separate compartment for six cards, or actually four cards, pardon me. And it also has a separate area for your cash and even more storage hidden underneath. I uh, need to point out that the Chanel gold stamping has faded. Um, I think we go, oh no, sorry, I beg your pardon. Chanel stamping is here. Does it come with a serial sticker? Yes, it does. 
the serial sticker uh, only and this is a four series from 96 to 97. I know the price of this item. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's almost it's like I'm free. just giving it to you what now. If, 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 you know, in the next set of technology, you can grab this. It's almost free, basically. So, yes, I'll just show you the condition. The um, tarnish is lost on here, but for the price, I think you could live with it. Most importantly, it does close um, um, securely. And I love the fact it has a separate coin area here. So, la, the and the price is just coming up. <laughs> Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> 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 We're getting delirious, aren't we? We really are. It's been three day. days of like back to back sales, searching for product. <laughs> Guys, yes, I know, even I had to double take. But it is what it is, and it's for you guys, the regulars who watch this show. I've given you the opportunity to grab this um, absolute bargain. If you are not into reselling, you can actually make profit on this item. So only £120. It's my Eid Mubarak gift to all you guys. <laughs> so, you know, it's a no-brainer, and... Um, uh, just tap on that icon. Yes, I I had my very first Guinness. I don't normally drink Guinness, but we went to the storehouse, the Guinness storehouse, which started out as four acres of land, and it now occupies 55 acres of Dublin. It actually has its own postcode. It's so big. It and big. with the locals, the people we've spoken to, they speak very highly of Guinness. It's basically part, it's almost their royal family. Obviously, with a 250 <laughs> year history, it employs a lot of people, it brings in tourism. But the pint I had, it was delicious. I actually, last night, I, went, I was thinking about it. How can I buy that again? And everyone, even where we're staying, they said, you, that pint you drink there is so different to the pub. Maybe because it was, it was poured specially fresh from the site. I guess the transportation to the pubs and exported around the world is, um, you know, maybe affects the taste. But I, I, would, I would pay the entrance fee again just to have an extra pint there. The interesting thing about the Guinness Guinness is, did you know, who knows Daf um, Lulu Guinness, the fashion brand? Lulu Guinness is actually married to the Guinness family. So Lulu Guinness, um, her husband is part of the dynasty of Guinness. So yes. Yes, it's what sold. I'm course. not surprised. Basically Eve great. Mubarak, everyone. This is my mm -hmm. gift to you. <laughs> um, Hi, Sabrina. We miss you. Sorry for the one hour delay. Honestly, the delay itself will be a movie one day. We'll tell you. It's a, a long story. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to hear the story, we'll tell you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to other wonderful things. Actually, this is the Gucci um, key holder. I actually love this. So this is a vintage Gucci key holder from the early 90s. I would date this between 91 to 94. Um, it has a suede exterior, but I just love that little um, bamboo hardware there. It's a trifold little um, uh, keychain holder, and it has still the original little keychain. There's like six cult key holders there. And key holders are a great way to, um, especially because it's a trifold, um, not to damage um, the interior of your very extens uh, expensive or your treasured handbag. So you can put your keys inside and these little fold bits can actually cover the sharp bits of your key. And it's just a great way of looking after your keys. Um, it's in excellent condition. It even has an extra key um, card area. So you can put a little credit card in there or your debit card in there or travel card. And it features a little pop lock closure there. So very small and compact, um, ideal for putting at the back of your pocket. It's a great unisex piece. So maybe if your partner is into Gucci, uh, the fact that it's a vintage and I just love that bamboo hardware. It is just a great um, little alternative, um, you know, way of adding uh, extra accessory to your handbag. So it is so this key holder is only 140 pounds which is 176 us dollars and in a moment jesse will pin the product for this item 
and yes more more uh, Hermes but I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket fee because <laughs> there's also Chanel to get through we've got Louis to get through and we have lots of Celine to get through so literally p p you know bookmark yourself in two and a half hours so there's a and also I have some unique really unique custom made Hermes homewares so if you love collectible homewares do stay on this show so the uh, icon for this little Gucci key holder is up is 140 pounds which is 176 US dollars and don't forget all your customs and duties are covered as well so yes i have lots of vintage chanel coming up for less than three thousand pounds and we do have a few uh enamel jewelry coming up so uh, maybe i'll show that next i'll just get through the small leather goods for the time being i've got a monogram key holder um do you want the skew for this i can't remember if i put it in the collection um yes please it's 828a so I'll just do a side by side comparison. So this is the Gucci one for £140, and this is the monogram um, key holder. So same basic design trifold with six key holders one, two, three, four, five, six key holders, brass tone. Uh, like I mentioned before, key holders are a very practical way of actually protecting the interior of your designer bag. Uh, because you attach your keys inside, these little flaps will actually cover the sharp bits of your key so to maintain the integrity of the lining of your bag. Uh, it is signed Louis Vuitton. There is a section to put your cards in there. This one is inside. Um, good conditions, there's no sticky interior. Um, it is in a lovely, lovely condition. Shima, I don't have any Louis Vuitton backpacks, but I do have uh, very three desirable bags, which we very rarely get. We've got a Noe coming up. We've got a PM Ellipse coming up. And we also have a looping bag, which I very rarely come across. So um, do stay on. <laughs> Thank you. You know what, Brenna? The reason why I'm so enthusiastic, I'm just so happy to be back. Honestly, guys, I, I didn't think we were going to make it to the show. We were, look, I'll tell you the story, right? This morning, because we had a free day, I thought I'll treat uh, myself and Jesse for a day trip outside of Ireland to visit the countryside. I originally booked for a half day tour. Uh, we got there early, got on the bus, and then we were driving for about three hours. And I thought, this doesn't seem right. Later on, when we made a pit stop, that we talked to the tour dr uh, driver, tour guide, and he said, five hours. Uh, he said, you're actually on the wrong tour. We ended up all the way in... Um, the Cliffs of Mohar. Cliffs oh, of Mohar, which is Glen of Glendar. Glendar. Of Dublin. It's basically... So if Dublin's here, we were here. It was like a movie. We were dropped in the middle of nowhere and we're like... In the middle of absolutely nowhere. It was like a movie. It's like a scene from an American rom-com. Or oh, did you guys remember a TV show, Father Ted? It was like that. It was me and Jesse yeah. and a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So, but you know what? The Irish locals are so helpful. They went out of the way making sure that we got back. Literally, we walked, we bussed two buses it took us six hours to get back and we had one hour spare to have a quick refresh have dinner that's why i am so happy i couldn't believe we were home but honestly it reminded me of an episode of father ted so <laughs> like uh, yeah, it was like a movie so the price of this key holder is just up and the price what was this 195 pounds this is only 195 pounds it's in excellent condition which is 245 us dollars and all you need to do is just tap on that icon yes i mean it was like a movie scene like have you ever seen um leap day that was one of the movie scenes where um i can't remember the actress she's pushing her louis vuitton um you know uh, luggage in the middle of nowhere it's a village and P.S. I love you. So, <laughs> but I must say, we, we managed to drive through the most beautiful, incredible, rugged landscape of yes. Ireland. It is so, so incredibly beautiful here. And it really sorts, you know, from all those movies I've watched from Titanic to what else? All those period dramas, all to do in the 1940s, Ireland. It really, I thought this is, you know, this is an incredible country. So, yeah, the holiday is another one. <laughs> 
<laughs> leap year <laughs> yeah basically all the um rom-com movies that i love that my husband would not watch with me so <laughs> so let's do uh, somebody was asking about some jewelry so let's move on to some jewelry we have um aat5840 um it comes with its original box it's really beautiful i love this i love the name of this actually i actually wrote this down it comes with its original original pouch and makes a great gift is in excellent condition and this is called the isola primavera isola primavera you can see why because it has a very much a spring theme um enamel um uh, print on it can you just see the little blossom it's almost against a rose sakura um background with this beautiful abstract florally bud design i think that is absolutely so so charming it's pretty much new it still has its original steels on um uh, this is a p uh, pm size uh, i would say i'm around about six to seven centimeter wrist size across so it, it fits to me very uh, comfortably on me yeah <laughs> honestly yeah that's so true brenna <laughs> and uh you i know you are not shopping you already bought two bags off me yesterday yeah um i i was so stressed that i couldn't even text anybody so but it, we we laugh at it now though no mm -hmm. we got back safe and i knew we would get back all right and i knew we'll make the show we so yes we had to laugh you have to laugh in life, otherwise it's just come too much pressure, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so I just I just want to show you the. Let me just do the flip the screen if you can see. Oh, that's better. Can you just see how beautiful this Isola Primavera design is? Such a sweet little print. It's almost like a rose sakura print with these floral buds. And this is only two hundred and eighty-five pounds, which is three hundred and fifty-eight US dollars. It's pretty much brand new. Look, you can see see the original seals on there. Comes with a pouch and dust bag and box. <laughs> and the icon of this item will be coming up shortly. So another little bangle we have. We have a little browner bangle. Brown bangle. This is A A R. 6319 AAR 6319 comes with a little nice presentation box and it has a palladium hardware and it is enamel black brown enamel could go well guys with oops Ooh, yeah. uh with the brown kenny which is on your top left hand corner this could be a nice little matchy matchy set um, features the little um, the Hermes uh, horse and cart logo, which is famous. Um, it is a palladium hardware. Uh, this is also in excellent condition. A nice classic bangle. Um, it's signed Hermes. I think this is a vintage piece. Or maybe it's a piece that it's classic. So they sort of reprise this in different colours every season. So it's a classic. Uh, in terms of size... It is the same size as the previous one. It's a size seven centimeters across. Um, I'm a size seven cm um, a wrist, and it fits very comfortably. And it's a clap. It is such. You're right, Jen. It's such a classic. You know, you can wear it on its own, or you know, definitely, it's very stackable. So you can wear with other like-minded bangles as well. And this one is only two hundred and seventy pounds, which is three hundred and thirty-nine US dollars. And the icon of this item will appear shortly. Oops. So let's move on to. I think we're ready for our first steel Chanel steel of the day. Let's go for this one. It's this a nice, beautiful classic piece. This is AAT9562. It's a push lock um, AAT9562. So this is wonderful condition. Look at that beautiful lambskin leather. If you are looking to purchase your very first vintage Chanel and you're on a tight budget, 
do stay tuned in the next two minutes because this bag could be yours. Um, it's a it's crafted from black lambskin leather with um, look at that beautiful um, um, matte shine. Uh, Janie, Janie, we don't have any. Do you mean GM in the enamel? That they are the only two I have. Um, I'm afraid, Janie, they're all in the PM size. Um, it is in great condition. Very little wear to the corners of the bag. Um, it is a single flat timeless bag and it has a push lock clasp with a gold tone hardware and the push lock clasp is in good working order, closes securely. Uh, it comes with its uh, dust bag, a card as well as care booklet guys, it has a care booklet and also it has an excellent clean interior and the serial sticker is intact. So these timeless push lock um, Classic bags, they're designed to be worn two ways. So you can tuck in the strap. It's designed, so can you see how the strap is kind of designed to be slightly indented? So when you see bags like this, it's actually designed to be worn as a um, clutch style bag. So you can push in the clasp, clasp and, and it's great as a um, clutch style bag. Or you can use the strap and it's great as a shoulder bag. Right, as a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a crossbody style bag it sits as a high cross but you can wear it as a cross uh, i'm wearing a uh, cardigan as well as a silk blouse so it's going through two layers and it still fits comfortably as a high cross um, it's in amazing condition i'll just show you the condition one more time all original no color transfer no redye all original just minor wear to the corners but it is expected for the age of this bag and this bag comes with its a uh, dust bag full set guys yes I told you it'll be good this vintage bag is only two thousand nine hundred and ninety five pounds two thousand nine hundred and ninety five pounds which is three thousand seven hundred and seventy six by 65 us dollars i'm trying to do really i can't do the classic 10 inch 9 inch double flats i'm afraid that is going to be tough but it, this is a good little dip into a classic investment so i'll try to get the classics in 3k mark so this is such a great price um, i'm sure all the girls who are watching this show all our regulars will tell you what a great price this is this would normally be around about three and a half thousand pounds um uh for other resellers it's a five series so it's from 97 to 99 and guys it comes with the booklet this is the book the manual not quite chairman mao manual the red book but it is the chanel black book um these are like gold dust and it actually tells you how to look after your bag and one of the little um uh little it, little tidbits of information that I really enjoy reading out, which I never knew until I actually read this, was that greasy marks can be removed with unscented talcum, sprinkle on the mark, leave overnight, brush off gently with a perfectly clean makeup brush. Can I just say, I yeah. actually did that the other day and, and it works. worked. See, Jessie did it with her Try bag. Did you do it on a leather bag, Jessie? It was actually on a nylon bag. And, and you put... I had a greasy mayo stain and I put talcum, talcum powder, powder in the morning, brought it off and it was gone. So it works. it works. It works, guys. It works. So something has sold. Ooh, if you can let me know. Let's see. I think it might be that bag. Let's yeah. Yeah. Is it Let's this bag? See. It is. Yes, it is. It has sold, guys. Incredible. It hit has sold. So Mel's asked, um, for first time commenting, is it possible to ever get a Chanel flat vintage flat bag for for less than two and a half thousand pounds? Dipping my toes in bags and hard to buy room of the new graduation salary. No, I totally get that, Mel. I totally get that. Uh, to be honest, you're not. Um, I really tried very hard. Uh, we're trying to pass the savings on to you to try and get these styles for 2995. And like I said, anything like this is normally in between the three to three. Three thousand two hundred to three and a half thousand pounds. If you want a classic, traditional classic flat, you're looking now to spend between thirty-eight hundred to forty-seven hundred now. Um, however, if you want vintage Chanel, 
if you don't mind it not being a classic flap, you can definitely get maybe a camera bag or a little pochette style bag. Just stay on Mel, because I may have something in your price range. So keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> right, so let me put those. Um, actually, Mel, let me just show you something now. What do I have? Um, let's do, I, I knew there was something in that price range. All right, let's do this one. Oh, hi, Kristen. This Kristen, are you on? I hope Kristen's on. Kristen from Shop and Sift, who's my other resource for uh, Chanel Vintage Knowledge. If she's on, um, please say hi, because have you seen this bag before? How stunning is this bag? This is absolutely gorgeous. This was actually featured on the runway of, um, I think it was like 94 or 95 collection. Um, I think it was either Claudia or uh, Naomi holding a pink version of this wow. bag from the runway. So it is actually patent leather with this amazingly cool handle and it's almost like a suitcase mini suitcase and guys look it features this incredible chunky chain this 24 karat gold chunky chain it's detachable so if you wanted to travel in style uh, just like a suitcase you can remove the strap or i would actually use the strap and wear it as a crossbody style bag or you can wear it as a shoulder bag and it's great for traveling. It features a uh, two classic Lampo um, zips and it opens up and the paint and leather is in incredible condition. Normally when it comes to vintage painting, it feels a bit sticky. Um, it's just the way the paint could be stored in depending on the temperament of where, how it was stored. If it's in a humid condition or dry condition. So um, yeah, so this, doesn't feel um, uh, sticky at all. And it opens up and look, it's a little mini case. And guys, once again, it comes full set, has the original serial sticker. It's a three series plus the care booklet, as well as a dust bag. So it has everything in this bag. This, this if you go and look at the uh, 94, um, 93 collection, um, this would definitely come up. And guys, this is only £2,500, which is $3,765 US dollars. And I just, I think to me that this little top handle really, really makes it. How gorgeous is this? I know, Kristen, did you hear me? Oh, good. I wanted you to see this bag because I know you are such an expert when it comes to vintage Chanel that so you, you would appreciate how wonderful this design is to me it's actually the design is really really interesting and it's just nice to see that gorgeous um uh, hardware there with a detachable strap and the price is insane this is easily could be in the 4k up to in the ranges of three and a half to 4k because it is such a collectible piece so if you're interested in this item, all you need to do is just tap on that icon and it will take you to the website where you can see further images and read information on this bag. Um, so yes, I know, it looks so great. So I'm glad you guys like this bag as well. Uh, let's move on to something that's quite wonderful. It's, we have the Paris um, limited edition two-tone hardware. This is AAU0263. This is AAU20, oh, AAU0263. And this is, is such a lovely condition. <laughs> Roxana say, uh, Winnie needs to get lost in the countryside more often because the prices are crazy. <laughs> I think she's lost her mind. Lost, <laughs> I, I, you know, she Roxana, her mind the <laughs> I'm just so happy to be back. Honestly, you don't even understand. Yeah, I understand. Literally, it was me. Little things yeah, mind. me. It was me, Jesse, Fog. There was so much fog. Fog we, and sheep. And sheep in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh I'm just so glad to be back. <laughs> So yes, Kristen, this is the Paris edition. So why is it called the Paris edition? Because this is one of the few bags that actually that Chanel produced that has two-tone color. So it has a silver and also gold um, hardware. 
think there's a shine on this. Let me just do a flip the screen because this condition is incredible. Uh, let me clean the fray. Let me uh, hope you can see. Is that better? Yeah. So look at that hardware. That lambskin is incredible condition. Hardly anywhere to the corners of the bag. And the, uh, and the back is lovely and keen. And if you could actually reach out and touch this bag, this is actually in wonderful, good, clean condition. Um, it's super soft. It's incredibly soft. So this hardware is quite unique because it's gold and silver. It is a double flap. And this is the older model of the back plate. Can you see the Chanel in Paris? And inside, it comes with um, uh, its lovely clean interior, serial stick intact, and it looks like it comes with its original um, card as well. This is a one series from 1989 to 91. So this is a very an older piece. Uh, it has a double strap, strap, so I'll just see if I can wear it as a crossbody. So in terms of, let me just put it this way. I can wear it, not really. I don't think I can wear it as a crossbody. I'm afraid it's too short, the chain. Definitely as a single strap um, over the shoulder, it sits very, very comfortably. It actually hit, sits on my hip length, hip, hip height. Uh, it has a double strap and it could be worn over the shoulder. So it is really a beautiful, really nice bag. So that's better. Yeah, so this bag is £3,300, uh, which is $4,149 US dollars. And the condition is incredible. It is such beautiful condition. It's been well looked after. It's been stored in the correct condition and it's up for grabs. So if you want a classic flap with a difference, all you need to do is just tap on that icon and you can read further information on that bag. So let's move on to um, some fun uh, Louis Vuitton items. I know that yesterday, some, uh, quite a few people were asking about Louis Vuitton ellipse bags. So we sold the backpack version yesterday, the one, one of the first bags that we sold yesterday. And th um, so this is the handbag version. So this is the ellipse bag, and this is actually quite unusual and really hard to find. I haven't had this one of these size in such a long time. This is the PM size. So we currently have the GM size um, available at Luxury Promise, but this is the PM size. Um, it has that beautiful um, sort of constructed design. It's almost like um, concave. Uh, reminds me of a football. I don't know why it reminds me of a football. Uh, lovely golden patina, even patina along the handles. And um, this is the, just a cute little um, compact everyday uh, use size. Uh, the hardware is very good and it has two zips, so it closes securely. And inside it is lovely and clean, has a canvas interior. And the date stamp on this is from 1988. So it's in lovely, lovely condition. Uh, it is lambskin. It is lambskin. Lambskin um, is softer. Uh, calf skin is normally a little because it's the older calf. Um, it's slightly more tougher, but this is lamb. Uh, the Paris limited edition is uh, lambskin. Okay. Uh, no, I will show um, the Hermes next. Actually, um, we can do a quick recap. So the vintage ellipse bag is five hundred and fifty pounds, which is six hundred and ninety-one US dollars. And um, tap on that icon. Uh, remember, these vintage Louis Vuitton models are now discontinued, making them a very collectible, one-of-a-kind uh, vintage. <laughs> so uh, do you guys want to see some Hermes Kelly? Should we go straight into it? Do a like if you want me to show some more Kellys. I could do a quick recap of the 20, 28 and I could show you the rest of the Kellys. So let me know the feedback. While I drink water, you can, I'll read your comments. Hmm. That's a that's a yes from Christian. Yes, yes from beer, from B. Okay, let's do it then. So I'll do a quick recap again. Thank you for repinning that, um, Jesse. Okay. We have the um, Kelly Twenty Eight box calf. This is an R in circle from nineteen eighty eight. It's in excellent condition. There's a, no cracking to the handles. Um, uh, very gentle wear. 
to the corners of the bag. This is the return style. Uh, lovely and clean. Hardware is excellent. Comes with the key and clochette and the dust bag. And this is at six and a half thousand pounds, which is roughly the eight thousand US dollar mark. So very, very competitive in price for something that is a 28. So um, seems like in handbags and especially in Hermes, smaller the bag, bigger the prize. So uh, yeah, <laughs> so that is the chocolate brown Kelly. Uh, we have, this is incredible. I'm just so, this is a red vintage Kelly 32, also return. This is an A stamp meaning that this is from 1946. Wow. I, I just think that's incredible. It's 1946, um, post-war, incredible. And probably um, made just before Grace Kelly's time, before she made the bag, um, you know, the uh, most popular iconic design. Now, originally this bag is called um, was first designed, uh, introduced by the Hermes um, brand uh, in 1930s. And it's a trapezoid design, uh, very practical, simple tra trapezoid with two songlet, a lock and a top handle. And it was called a sac de pêche. So sac de pêche, I think it's sac de pêche, meaning literally handbag. When... Um, Grace Kelly was starring in the movie To Catch a Thief. This is in 1950s. Her um, costume designer introduced her to this bag. They actually, I think she took her to the Hermes store and she just clocked eyes and fell in love with the bag. And she herself owned several bags. I think one of my favorite of, one, of, of um, Grace Kelly's own personal connection, she never really actually, it's very rare to find a picture of her wearing it, but she has a twirl and calf leather um, vintage Kelly in a size 32. She personally had, I think, a 32 and a 35, um, which is quite interesting. And it's always handheld. There was no shoulder straps back then. Women held their bags, especially if women of, just say, of, of certain financial power, you don't need to work. You can hold your own handbag. So, and how it came about was she was just newly married but she was also pregnant with her first child and she didn't want to be, um, she was married to, of course, Prince Reina of Monaco, hence why she became Princess, um, Princess uh, Grace. And um, she was leaving a uh, function and just then the papar word spread that she was pregnant with her first child, first heir to the throne. And as she was leaving, the only way she, she wanted to protect her baby bump was to hold her bag and that shot of her leaving the restaurant or somewhere with the bag in front of her belly, she was using the bag to hide her belly, it became global news and it actually made it to the cover of Life magazine and it renamed, and it, the bag was renamed the Kelly bag. Ooh. So yes, if I had, if it was me, modern day Winnie, I would use this bag to cover usually um, wine stain, <laughs> a bit of toothpaste, or on a black shirt. Why do I always get toothpaste on a black shirt? Uh, or a pen mark or a coffee mark. That would be more me, so. <laughs> so. Alison got the Chanel. Alison! Was that your first Chanel, Alison? I think it was. Oh, Alison. Amazing. Which Chanel? The, um, the Paris. Paris one. Oh, congratulations. I'm so pleased. Alison, you won't regret it. You won't regret it because everybody has a CC turnstile lock in nine inch, 10 inch, but no one has the Paris limited edition. That makes it even more special. So I'm so glad you got it. Anyway, congratulations, Alison. We're pleased. Yeah, thank you. So the price of this 1946 Kelly, Box Kelly uh, 32 in red calf skin, uh, red box calf, sorry. It does have a little signs of wear. Considering it's from 1946, it's what? How old is that? 70, 80 years? A long time. 70 or 80 years old? I could forgive you if you have a little bit of a wear on your corner, so it's okay. Um, just a little bit wear there. Just want to be transparent about the condition. The back is nice and clean. Has the contrasting stitching. Just very little wear there. And there. The hardware is very good. Uh, most importantly, the handles have not cracked. Look, can you believe it? 
there's no cracking, it's not dried at all. Now we open up. You can tell this is the older version. So the older stamping, uh, I think this kind of predates the 70s. It's Hermes on top and Paris at the bottom. So it looks very different to, just say, let me check this one. Yeah. This is a much later model where they actually include made in France. So Hermes pa and Paris are made in France. So it looks very different. So the older models, that's how you can tell if it predates a certain period, is it? especially definitely before 1970s. It's Hermes on top and Paris. Uh, nice good clean condition inside does it come with key crochet can't quite remember yes <gasps> oh, strap strap <laughs> so someone must have bought a strap later on <gasps> oh my god I, I didn't I, I'm sure I remember don't remember it coming cross strap anyway it comes with the key and clochette and padlock and guys <laughs> Brenna's going shut up Almost, honestly even I am so surprised is this the original ah uh, okay it looks like this is not the original strap is it the original strap I'm just having a quick look yeah I'm just having a look the way yeah, so this is, somebody has just bought a strap separately to match. It's not Hermes, but because I didn't think they, uh, they added straps um, in 1946. However, this is just a free bonus item. So please be aware, um, this strap is just a free bonus item. Very handy though. It's nice that they actually made the, the leather to match the actual bag. So there you go. So the price of this did not include the strap because I've, I've only just discovered it had a strap. The strap is not original to the bag. Um, it is um, just made as an extra accessory so you can wear it as a shoulder strap, just to be aware of that. However, it does come with its original key and clochette. So I think the strap actually makes it much more modern now for us women to use. And you can definitely wear it. This is size 32. I personally have a 32 and it's a good, I think it's the perfect size. I mean, you know, I carry a lot of stuff. So it is a good everyday work style bag. So the bag, what's the price of this one? It is pinned. It is pinned. Ah, oh, thank you. That's a good idea. It is £6,495, which is 8166 US dollars. It's a 1946 red box car kelly bag comes with key on clochette and padlock and it comes with a free strap that is not signed so it is available to purchase right now all you need to do is just tap on that icon do you want to see uh, another kelly yes you want to see shall i go for the ultimate holy grail get uh, kelly is it too early are you guys ready <laughs> Right, we have the amount of people asking us, do you have a Kelly Cellier bag, chocolate brown with gold hardware? Yes, we do today. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Box calf, um, Cellier. Cellier is the top stitching you see on the sides of the bag. What would have happened when the Kelly reached 100? I think it would still look stunning. It, I think Hermes Kelly bags age better than humans. <laughs> uh, please like if you agree. So what age is, th is this one, if you can advise? Yeah. It is 2004. So this is a 2004 box Kelly. Uh, let me just quickly fix the turnstile lock lovely condition there is uh just light wear to the back you just see just light wear to the back it's importantly it's a cellier light scratches to the front which can be buffed out by um hermes if you take it to hermes spa 
But actually, I, I think it actually adds character to the bag. Is it 2004, did you say? Yeah. So it's a 2004, uh, has a key and clochette. Now, the reason, there's, when it comes to Kelly bags, it's two types you can get. You've got the Retorn, which is a relaxed edge, and then you've got the Kelly Cellier, which is one of the most uh, requested style. Now, how it, you make the Cellier, this was taught to me by Sabrina. Actually, all bags start out as a Retorn, like this. Then what they do, so it's an inside out process. So they turn it, so they do this stitching, they turn it inside out, and then they top stitch to give it that rigid uh, structure. So in some ways, this is also a retorn, but it's been turned inside out to give it that rigid structure. So this bag comes with, um, it's a H in square, so it's 2004. Um, in great condition. And guys, it comes with a strap. See if this is the original strap. From looking at this, what is it? Oh, I can't quite see. Could you see? Does that say Hermes on there on the hardware? Well, I'll show you the back. Bag. And lovely clean condition so key crochet comes with its original dust bag comes with a shoulder strap we're just confirming if that's the original shoulder strap or if it was a custom made strap to be used with the bag sure of course i'll let show you the side so i have this is a 32 and this is a 28 32 28 HS Germany. Okay, so it's not. It's a it's a custom made. Custom. Yeah. So it does have a free strap. It's not Hermes. It's a custom made strap to go with the bag. Just to let you know. And that is the size. The both chocolate Kelly. That is a thirty two, and that's a twenty eight. Hope that helps, Mel. Hi, Dipti. <laughs> um, I see there was a May, uh, a place in order on April 17th from the US Live. Uh, haven't received a shipment notice. Is that okay? Uh, May, May, if you uh, send me an email, winnie at luxurypromise.com, um, with your order number, I can look into it for you to see what the status is of that piece. Um, Hope that helps. So this chocolate Kelly is £6,995, which is $8,795 US dollars. And it's the one in the middle. So if you are wishing to start, I mean, well, I tried to work all the Hermes Kelly just under £7,000. So these are incredible prices. You know how fast these bags go and you know how hard it is to get one in these incredible conditions. Okay, so would you mind getting it off? Yeah. Thank you. So, and give us one second. Hi. Hello, ma'am. I just need to get some water. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Ah, Yvonne. I said, yeah, you know, we were talking about that last night. I said, now that we're at an age where we want to buy things that are investment pieces, I do feel like. Buying vintage Chanel right now is a good investment and buying vintage Hermes is also a good investment. Anything Hermes is good investment. So I hope that helps. <laughs> so let's do something more fun. I want to show you some incredible scarves that we have on offer. I've got lots. Uh, which are, let's go for, for those who love vintage Chanel jewellery, we've got this incredible scarf. This is... AAT8539. AAT8539. And I love this one. So, you know, we, we are fans of vintage Chanel jewellery. And if you've got all the belts and all the chains, you need a matching scarf. Look at that. It has all those beautiful. I hope Elena's watching. Uh, she probably can reference all those belts and what. Um, 
um, season and collections these belts come from. Isn't that incredible? All those wonderful key um, chains. Like this one, we have that in stock right now. We have a red and gold chain. Uh, this is just absolutely incredible. Just such fun pieces. Um, this um, has, uh, the Chanel label is missing, but it has the original sewing tags. It's 100% silk. And it's a, a silk twill, but I call it mulberry silk. It's the same silk that Hermes used to make their uh, silk scarves. And when you are looking for authentic scarves, you've got to look for hand rolled hems. So hand rolled hems are these hem where anyone who knows anything about sewing is the raw edge instead of top stitching with a sewing machine, which gives it a very flat. It's also a very quick option to finish off a scarf with they roll it like this the raw edge is in towards the edge of the, towards the print, towards the back of the print. So the print should be here and the rolling should be underneath the print. So towards the back of the print. And then a skilled seamstress in one thread can just quickly tack those um, stitching down. So this is purely done by hand. And women who can have done this for years can actually do it with their eyes closed and on one single strand of thread without it breaking. So this is £295. I think these scarves are great. Um, I think there's Mother's Day coming up in America, North America, and make a good gift. Um, you can, I look quite cute with what I'm wearing. Great scarf. It's very Chanel. -esque. It is, yeah. Um, it. And you can wear it as a good head scarf as well Oops. so it looks quite cool Ooh. only 295 pounds so you can tap on the icon for the very first um uh, scarf uh how's temple bar we haven't had a chance to go to <laughs> temple bar oh dip i don't know if you heard our story but we were stuck in the middle of nowhere almost seven hours ago and it's taken us six hours to get back to our hotel. That would be, we did say we want, we would do that, won't we? Yeah. Next time, if we do get invited Next back, time. we will go <laughs> for a drink in Temple Bar. <laughs> so, another great scarf. This is another fun one. Is, this is beautiful. Another Bijou chain inspired scarf. This is AAT8535. AAT35. 8535. Um, this one, look. How gorgeous is this scarf? The scarves are around about 90 centimeters square, so just under a meter. So they're quite large scarves. Look, if you're a fan of vintage Chanel jewelry, you need to add this to collection because this plays homage to all those wonderful chains. You can, you can reference, you can see all those chains. We've sold these in the past. The quilted matelasse CC, the interwoven red and gold. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is such a stunning, stunning piece. You can see with all the condition is great. Same a mulberry silk with the hand rolled hold, rolled hem. There is no marks or stains. There's no makeup marks. The Chanel tag is missing, however. It has the original 100% um, sewing scarf. Oh, Mel, why don't you wait? Because I've actually got three more to show and they're all equally amazing designs. Um, I actually whistled down to my top five favorite designs. So before you purchase, just have a quick look at everything. But it, uh, it is signed Chanel. So, oh, the scarf sold, amazing. Oh, congratulations. Which one's the sold one? This one. Oh my God, Jess. Jess. Jessie has been incredible. Aww. I love Jess. She has been my rock. She's really, Aww, thank you, Vinny. she stepped in to moderate. We didn't want Isabel to wait around because we were stuck in the middle of a field with a sheep. And <laughs> she's made me feel grounded. Aww. And she's organized all everyone's orders. So we'll get them out as soon as possible. Just a little note, word of note. It is a UK, um, Euro, um, UK bank holiday and also in Ireland. Um, so tomorrow, um, everything is closed. 
uh, it would be the uh, your Irish orders will be shipped out to our UK dispatch team probably by Wednesday, very, very earliest. Uh, we put it on a speed directory. So if you're UK based, you'll probably get it by Thursday, Friday latest and uh, the same for the US as well. So please, please do bear, bear with us with your Irish order. So, yeah. So this one is up. It is also £295. And, uh, oh, Sabrina says wrong item. Oh, oh so what? It hasn't, so sold, it hasn't sold yet. It's still available. It is still available. It's okay. Still available. All right, Mel, it's still available. I'll quickly show you the next one, Mel. I know uh, if you wanted something a bit more pink, if you like pink, we also have this one. This is a nice, fun one. This is like a satiny uh, silk. This is AAT4836, AAT4836. What's nice yeah. about this, it's got this beautiful fuchsia pink, has a floral CC design. And I'll just show you. The Chanel logo has that gorgeous chain detail. Uh, what's nice, it has that, you know, the, the Chanel features. Do you know what flower that is? It is the camellia flower, which of course is Chanel's favorite flower. Features a hand-rolled hem as well, and is in lovely condition with no stains, no damage. It's a, a soft satin crepe, and it is signed Chanel. And this is also a great, wonderful piece. You know, I would, you could even frame this as a work of art. Okay. It's uh, the size is um, ninety by ninety, so just under hundred centimeters wide. Ninety by ninety. I normally wear these scarves folded in a triangle and then just drape it around the neck. Uh, like Zam saying that you can wear it great as a white jacket um, with a blazer. It's just nice, a little, gives it a little, adds a bit of colour. Um, you can wear it in the French, they kind of wear it like off the side, which looks very, very chic. Scarves are also a great way to give you a bit of cover up if you wanna, don't want to have a cold neck. Uh, I don't know if that's an Asian thing. It is. We don't like cold <laughs> necks because we think we're going to get cold. <laughs> <laughs> or may, they make great as a little hairband as well. Oh, I like uh, that idea. But it's a hairband. So lots and lots of functional ways. If you were, I, I've never, I don't know how to do this, but you could actually get two together and hold a baby. You know those ladies oh, who carry the babies? Or as uh, Grace Kelly did with her Gucci scarf, she used this, a scarf to carry as a, her sling when she broke her arm in rear window. So um, oh this, <laughs> yeah. so this scarf is also 295 pounds. So you can tap on that icon. And um, we have two other scarf designs. Let's just show them while we're on a roll. This is a really nice design as well. I love this one. This is AAT4833. AAT4833. Uh, another great design. And this is stunning. Look at the pattern. This is incredible. The detail of this. Now, it features all the Chanel Bijou jewellery with all the CC detail. And it features these wheat sheaf. In France, uh, wheat sheaf is a um, very symbolic and auspicious symbol. It means abundance and longevity and good life. Uh, all the roses here. And I just love the way it's signed Chanel. It's on a navy background. So it's navy with gold, like a yellow gold, hard, uh, yellow gold print. And I just love all those beautiful CC details. Isn't that just stunning? <laughs> Someone said, I would just have to have a baby so I can use it as a sling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me just make this a bit darker. So, a bit of brighter, that's it. Yes, as you can see now, the evening lights are coming on and this all becomes illuminated along the Docklands in um, Dublin. I know it's so confusing. This actually, I think, out of all of them, this should be should be framed because mm. it, it. If you know your Chanel, it has lots of symbols. It's got the wheat sheaf. It's got the gold into white woven chain. It has the roses. Um, I think that is just absolutely stunning. 
and it's signed Chanel, 100% silk scarf, 90 by 90 cm's, which is just under a meter. It's a large scarf, and um, yes, yeah, so the price of this will be shortly revealed. So while we do that, there's one more silk scarf left. So this scarf is also 295 pounds, which is 370 US dollars. And then we have one more. If that those scarves were a bit too colourful, but yet you love that that kind of Chanel essence, this is a nice alternative to bridge between the two. This is AAT AAT 8634. AAT 8634. What I like about this is simplicity of design. This probably is a little bit more wearable if you want to wear it. It just features two um, chains, the classic gold and leather, uh, gold and red leather interwoven chain. And it's almost gives up, um, it's up to uh, one, two, three, four chains. And it is signed Chanel, has the original sewing uh, label, which is 100% silk made in Italy. Uh, great condition again. This is on a black, it's a mulberry silk, a silk twill with the hand rolled hems toward the, toward the edge. And it's also in wonderful condition with no um, snags or tears. It's in great condition. So all these scarves I think make great um, Mother's Day gifts. Yes. Yeah. Or you know what? If you're feeling brave, if you know you're sewing, you could actually turn this into a really stylish cushion. Ooh, you yeah, you could. Because I think you could probably get... Could you get... You probably could get one if you use front and back. Or if you want to get a set of two, you just use a different contrasting back lining. And that makes a really nice stylish cushion, I think, for your sofa. So, this is also... Is it also 295 I know, Sabrina. Sabrina loves a scarf. Yeah, the, I mean, these scarves are all amazing. And I think the price point is such a good price point. But these would normally be £100 more, around about £395. I've made them competitive for Ireland at £295. So, and they make great, great gifts. So, is that also £295? Yes. Yeah, £295. Now, if you just want something a bit simple and you love a scarf and you love cashmere like I do, I do have a Chanel cashmere scarf. Um, this is lovely. Do you want the skew for this one? Um, I think it's okay. Yeah. So it is the classic neck scarf. It is around about 180 centimetres long, so it's quite long, and it's roughly around about 50 centimetres wide. It's in excellent condition. Um, it's beautiful raspberry red colour, 100% cashmere. Uh, with the Chanel label. With this hand fringing. And if, if those other scarves were too colourful and you just wanted something that is well, excellent quality, well made, this is a nice alternative. It's nice and long. And it feels incredibly soft considering it's a, a fine cashmere. The cashmere is in great condition. There's no bobbling, no, um, no tears or anything. Uh, this one, yes, would be great for travelling because it could be, you can almost wear it like with my scarves, when I'm traveling, they almost make a little blanket because yeah. they whack on the air conditioning when you're flying at high altitude. You so you could actually uh, wear it like this um, and put your arms underneath. So this red, uh, raspberry red cashmere scarf is only 395 pounds. So another great Mother's Day gift for USA. Um, if any of the US followers, if you could just tell me what the... Um, uh, official Mother's Day is. I know it's sometime in May. That would be great. Um, it's £395, which is $496 US dollars. And if you like this, you can just tap on the icon. All our scarves will come with a complimentary Luxury Promise dust bag. So it would look presentable and it's definitely very, very giftable. Oh, it's next Sunday. So, oh, perfect. Yeah, so perfect. Hopefully, we'll get it in time for Mother's Day. Um, like I said, it is a national holiday here in Europe, uh, in Ireland and UK, so it might be cutting it fine, but, you know, they'll get it in the end. Can we see the Red Kelly again? Yes, sure. sure. Turn it 
Can we also show some Celine first? Yes. Abby? Yeah, has Abby wants to see Celine? Oh my gosh, we've got some incredible Celine. Some fun Celine. So, uh, yeah, Ron, yes, this is the Red Kelly from 1946. It's an A stamp. It's a size 32, meaning it's a 32 um, length. And I have a 32, and for me, that this is the perfect day size. Uh, box calf um, with the contrasting stitching, uh, gold tone hardware. It has light wear to the base, which is to be expected. And light wear there. The back is nice and clean. Uh, it comes with the key clochette uh, padlock. It comes with a strap, but please note this is not the original strap. I think the previous owner just had one made to go with her bag. So I hope that helps. And I think the price of this was £6,495, which is around about $8,000 US dollars. Oh, Brenna, you should meet my cousin Yvonne. Yvonne is so, I mean, Yvonne is incredible. She's actually very well known in her Instagram community as a professional knitter. She makes, she's in the yarn community, I think that's what we call it in Instagram. Um, she's a prolific knitter. Uh, she's all into handicraft. She's also into pottery as well. So I think, Brenna, you all have lots in common with each other. So, yes. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, I, everyone's encouraging Yvonne. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, Yvonne, you can crochet your own strap. You probably could crochet your own, own Kelly bag, actually. Aww. She's incredible. Uh, amazing. So, what did, somebody wanted to see some Celine, right? Yeah. Okay, let me... Which one should I choose? Ooh. You two. Should I go for the little... The little, the little one. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Yeah. So, somebody wanted to see some Celine. We've actually got some incredible Celine. A lot of it's £300 and under. So, give me one second. Right. First of all, how cute is this? This is so, so cute. This is a vintage uh, Celine from the 90s. Features the macadam design. Um, has a little top handle. It was supposed to be a backpack <laughs> you can see there's a strap here a strap here however the strap is missing and you can probably just buy yourself a, a lobster class the price is factored into this uh, so you can wear it cross body like this but or you can just use it as a handheld bag it's so adorable it's so funny because when I was selecting this bag in my mind I thought it would be this big you know when you just like things are not to scale when you see something in a picture it is so so cute it's in amazing condition lovely lovely condition i think something has sold Let me check. features the leather um st strap i know it, it's a shame it would have been a lot more money Ooh. it is such a what well, stuff sort of sold oh which the one interlaced um chain motive one which one this one Oh, that one! What's that? Interlace. Is it AA? Is it ending in 539? 535. 535. 535. Five, three, five. Five, three, five. Yeah. Congratulations. Somebody's just bought one of the scarves. <laughs> Congratulations. I hope it was Mel. I hope you um, decided what to get in the end. So, uh, lovely and clean inside. And this is just an adorable little um, bag with a little magnetic closure. as the Celine logo here, little buckle closure. And just so cute. This price is amazing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the strap from this Kelly. And you can see what it looks like with the strap on. So, for example, you can get these straps for like between 10 to 15 pounds from Amazon. Oh, sorry, this is actually too, the, the ring that's too small. Or you could add a gold chain. Yes. That would be nice. You chain. could add a gold chain, actually. Yes, a gold chain with a lobster clasp. So, and the way it's designed is actually asymmetrical. So, I imagine once you put the strap on, strap on you wear it like a sling bag or like a crossbody style bag. 
So this is only £295, which is 370 US dollars. So what we need to do is just tap on the icon. Um, you can buy the gold chains, I know from Amazon, around about £10 uh, if you are looking for a strap. And probably with the leather strap, you're probably looking at double. So it's not too much more to um, get the strap. So another great Celine is a classic Celine box calf bag. So this is a black box calf. Um, this is a vintage piece from, I would say, from the 70s or 80s. Um, has the little horse bit design. Um, has this lovely horse bit logo here. It almost looks like Gucci, but it isn't. It's definitely Celine. So you lift the clasp and you open the horse bit and you can see it says Celine there. It's like navy, navy box calf. Um, it is vintage. It does show some signs of uh, gentle use along the back, but very, very light. Shima, the, uh, the Celine does not come with strap. You could buy a strap separately. Yeah, I love, love the bag, this vintage. I mean, especially vintage, like Selena. I mean, their bags are really cool are on trend at the moment. And they've gone back to their archives. There's a lot of this Macadam um, Arc Triumph um, logo uh, that's incorporated back. So that, like they've gone back to the archive and incorporated these uh, signature designs in their box calf um, bags. This can be worn crossbody. So right now, these sort of um, classic box calf satchel bags are in the region's excess of two and a half thousand pounds. So if you were to buy brand new, this vintage one um, is a nice alternative if you don't mind the little bit of wear. So if you open up the clasp, inside it has two separate compartments and areas to put your um, pouches in. Uh, actually three separate compartments plus it has a little zip pocket and it has that Celine logo there as well. So this bag, only £395. I think that's an incredible price. 395 uh, which is 496 US dollars. Yes, it does have light scratches. I don't know if you can see that one there. And along the back, yeah, just there. So it is a pre-owned vintage item. Yes, I agree, Visa. I think Celine is so underrated. It's what I like about it. It is so understated, actually. Um, it's one of those bags, you know, you know. Like if you're, you know, going out, like you, you, you know that it is a good quality designer bag. So yes, I'll show you the inside again. It's a slight um, tarnish to the hardware. Just very, very light. I like the way the lock opens up inside it is nice and clean i hope that helps and size wise this is equivalent to it's a really good medium size i would say it's about 10 inches across let me just get my measurement tape Yes, it is 10 inches across. So it's a good day size, a good everyday size. So I hope that helps, Hannah. Yeah. Oh, Natalie is saying that she bought her vintage canvas from us and she still loves it. So yes, the vintage one is the older vintage models. It's nice because not that many people know about the vintage Celine. So it's nice to own something that not everybody has. So, yeah, I agree, Maria. Uh, Celine is one of my favourite bands as well. Uh, let's look for this one. A good everyday oversized clutch. I do like this clutch bag. This is AAT4314. So, it's a soft calf leather in almost like a caramel um, colour with the Triumph logo, the calf leather logo. It's a nice oversized clutch, so definitely a nice good size. Has a little pop block closure. Oh, wow, you've seen how incredible it is. So you open it up, it could be done in three ways. It's opened up three ways. This is very, very clever. 
It could be, that's the first compartment inside. Has a dust bag, the original Celine dust bag. Lovely and clean inside, you can see the Celine logo. Has an internal to sit pocket there. So that is the first compartment, fold over clutch there. Then you've got an, a, se a separate se um, section here. You can see the Macaman design here. Open up. And this is the separate pocket inside. So there's like basically you've got two sections where you can hold your items. The um, outer section as well as the interior section. It comes with this original dust bag. And this is only £250. Just 250 it's it's oh what has sold oh something has sold oh leanne let us know anyway this is available now for 250 pounds which is 314 us dollars and you can click on that the little black celine shoulder oh amazing so i mean it's sold. such yeah such a good price it is such a good price guys congratulations um thank you for your order let us know who it reminds me of bobby yeah yeah in it. that satchel style yeah. yeah definitely so this is 250 another great price i'll just show you the condition one more time it's in great condition um just light wear and it's nice that this is a nice oversized day clutch <laughs> oh it was brenna it was me you had me at navy <laughs> amazing so, um, I want to show, to follow one of that Celine Navy bag, I want to show you the Hermes version of this. This is in a great, great price bag. Just give me one second. Mm. But I was to say, can you put a chain on it? I think you could. On which one? On this one. Yeah. Maybe you could probably feed a chain. Yeah. Wrap it, loop around. In here, however, if you do uh, put a chain there, you won't be able to get inside here, so you'll have to rely on this section to open and close the bag. I think this is oh, just sold. Yes, it has. This is just sold. Congratulations. I mean, I think Celine is our latest find. Everyone's loving Celine. Yeah, the price point is good. It, they're fun. Let me show you one more Celine. This is my last Celine of the evening. This is a really, really fun bag. Let me make sure. Let me so it's nice another great celine vintage this is so fun i wonder if you could put a laptop in it i'll just check check um a what's nice it actually has gold chain straps um it has a wonderful macadam design has the triumph logo this is a vintage piece so i'll just show you the condition there is light wear to the leather hardware uh, leather logo just little light spot spotting however the macadam the canvas macadam is in really really good condition light wear to one corner where the leather trims are nice and clean at the back and light wear to the corners um, handy little front pocket uh, with a push shot clasp and it is a zipper opening bag with a uh, nice and clean on the interior and it has a little internal pocket as well so just really handy little over the shoulder bag can't wear it as a, um, a crossbody style it's fixed length strap and um, it is a ideally worn over the shoulder. Uh, thank you, Hannah. I'm glad you like the show. And Joanna's show is so good as well. I sometimes because of the um, time zone, sometimes I miss uh, miss Joanna's show. But I actually miss Joanna. She's such a wonderful host and colleague, isn't she? We all miss her. Yeah, we all miss her. Let me just grab my laptop to see if uh, it fits a laptop. Just give me one second. Thank you, guys. Is that mine? Like it would. Yeah. So let's see if it fits a laptop. So here's my laptop. It's a 13 inch MacBook Air. It does. It just about fits a laptop. It might be perfect work bag. Yeah, it might be just a little bit snug to close it, but it, it can definitely hold a laptop. So this bag is also 250 pounds. 
uh, which is 314 US dollars. Uh, I think it's a great um, bag, uh, price bag. Oh, it has a double strap. So you know what? You could actually shorten, double it up and use it as a little handbag as well. So very, lots and lots of different options to wear and use this bag. So all you need to do is just tap on the icon. So uh, Nicole was saying, can I quickly see the orange boxes? Yes, let, let's do a bit of a recap. There are actually uh, enamel bracelets, Nicole. We've got the first one, which is a brown enamel uh, bracelet. Comes with a box with palladium hardware and inside, have these light colored uh, bangles size pm which is seven centimeters across and um, they're nice stackable pieces and i believe this is 270 pounds we'll print pin the price the pin the item in a, in just a second so that's the first item excellent condition comes with a box i think we've just sold celine I think the Celine has just sold the one in the middle. Yes. Yes. Okay, so, so, ah, amazing. So both Celines have now sold. Congratulations. Three Celines. Three Celines. Yeah, all three of them. This one, the clutch. Oh and yeah. The yeah. Only one with the backpack. Oh, the backpack. One. Yeah. yeah. If a bit, if it had the strap. Yeah. So the uh, next item in the orange box is this beautiful. Comes with a pouch and the original box is another enamel bangle and it's called the Primavera, uh, Isola, Isola Primavera and it's like a spring design uh, pink against a palladium hardware bangle with these beautiful little floral spring buds and it has its original um, seal as well. So this is roughly, I think, £285 for the top of my head. Um, if not, you could just tap on the icon to see the original price on that piece so i want to show you an hermes bag that's actually i i actually love the older um, hermes bags that you don't see in production and it doesn't get the same publicity as the, the usual kelly's and birkin so give me one second i don't know why i'm so thirsty tonight talking a lot mm. yeah so this one it's called golf de bot Golf the ball bag, I think it's called, I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong. Golf the ball bag. <laughs> so, I want to show you this. Ball de golf. Ball de golf bag. It is this. It almost has the same feeling as a Dior bobby bag. Yeah. It has the same feel as the Celine and vintage satchel bag we've just sold. Um, it's almost like, this like almost like a, a Rouge de H colorway. Uh, this is crafted from Epsom leather. It's incredible condition. I love this gold tone toggle. I love, it looks like Gucci, but this is Hermes. That's what I like about it. You can tell straight away, this is a quality made bag. It has adjustable side straps. It has the web webbing, and it's just designed to be worn as a everyday satchel style bag. So, um, and you can see, it has Hermes and Paris inside and lovely and clean. And I think, you know, if you want, if you like to wear your Hermes bag every day and you obviously don't want to use your Kelly's or Birkin's every day because they do screen, you know, they do attract a certain attention. This is a nice alternative. I think this is such a lovely bag. Oh, it is such a nice bag, so beautiful, so understated but high quality, you can tell how beautifully it is made. And wait till you see the price. That's why I love these older vintage models. These are discontinued, no longer available. So you can just see the corners. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Jen said. If I buy this bag, he won't know that it's Hermes. Exactly. Exactly. He probably just think it's just another bag, not, nothing special. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is only £995. I think that is an incredible price for, you can actually say, I own an Hermes bag. If 
for only 995 pounds which is 1251 us dollars and this um did it does it give you the date code on this yes yeah it is from 1989 so this oh my god this bag is from 1989 1989 and look at that gold tone hardware it's actually 24 karat gold gilded i could tell because it's very very heavy uh just seeing the h logo on the side it is such a cool bag um i just think this is a really good and jen is a mum of how many kids do you have five or six or a village i can't remember <laughs> so this is a really good hands-free busy mum like you know, as a mum, you shouldn't lose your fashion sense. You should still have a fashion identity, but you need to be practical after all. So you've got to be hands-free. So to me, this is the perfect marriage of a high, a designer, treat yourself bag, good quality. You know this will last and it doesn't scream like it's going to be too expensive. So you're going to be so precious to use it. So this is a really, really good alternative. So this is only £995, which is roughly US dollars All you need to do is just tap on that icon. One bag I actually want to show. One more, uh, one more. Sh uh, oh, actually, maybe I should show this Celine because people are loving Celine. Yes, yeah, so. let me just show this Celine. So for those who've just purchased Celine, you may want to add this to your collection. This is a classic Celine buckle. Um, with the white calf, uh, it's signed 80, as in 80 centimetres long. Uh, it has a Celine. Let me just lower the light. Uh, can you see? That's it, Celine. I love that buckle. Isn't that cool? Uh, it has, it's just a wide buckle. I was trying it on just earlier. It's signed and made in Italy. I am a UK 12, so I think I'm roughly, I don't know what my waist size is, but I would say this would sit high on my um, uh, hip. This would, I, I would wear this with a dress, actually, if you want, if you've got a very loose fitting dress and you want definition and some cinching in, this is a great uh, alternative. And this is a vintage Celine, uh, probably from the 1980s belt, uh, great condition. I know I love this too. Oh, Hannah says she's going to love to go on these. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, my God, guys, you, sh you guys should. And do let us know if you end up having your own community and you all chat to each other off show. It is really nice because I know definitely there has been friendships uh, built around these shows. And um, you guys have all gone off to have coffee in London and do events together. So this is £195, which is a 245 US dollars. So there you go. Will I be showing the LV Brown FP pochette? I'm afraid I don't have that. Uh, it's available on the website, Alice, um, this evening. Uh, these, the stock I'm showing is only available in Ireland. Even what I'm showing right now will be available for maybe another two more hours after our show. And then I'll be switching everything off because we have to hand them back to all our vendors. So that is a size 80 and only £195. So it's available to shop. All you need to do is just tap on the icon. Um, Alice, if you're worried about the condition of the epi leather, uh, from my memory, it was pretty excellent, wasn't it? Because mm -hmm. epi, epi leather out of the monogram is way, way more durable. From what I remember, there wasn't anything in signif that's significant. And in terms of size, it's to be worn as a little shoulder bag, like a pencil case with a strap. That's how I wore mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yes, dip tea. So everything I showed yesterday, which is the yellow, pink, Chanel's, the travel cases, will be switched off by midnight tonight. Midnight UK Last time. Call. Last call, because we have to get ready to pack everything up and, um, yes, leave Ireland. So um, so if you are anything you're contemplating, do um, you have up until midnight tonight to purchase. So that pochette was four hundred and forty nine pounds. Okay, so the uh, the pochette was four hundred and forty nine pounds. So um, if you're over, go, able to go to the new arrivals page, um, uh, was it uh, Hannah? Or mm. I can't remember who was asking. Mm. So yeah, um, you can tap on the icon. Uh, yes. So uh, so that was the sleep. Now. 
can I show you something fun? So, I know you guys are all making your social uh, gatherings, but this, stop for what, five seconds. I want to give you a real feast, something really, really fun and collectible. I'm going to do it. It's the Hermes grooming kit. Oh, guys, this, this is so cool. This is so cool. And this is why I love my job, because sometimes you just don't know what you get offered. And this is a VIP custom made from the 1950s. It is by Hermes. Look how beautiful this attache case it is. I don't know if Nikos is watching, our ops director is, is watching. Yeah. <laughs> um, it features this H clasp, but let me show you what's inside. And um, so they lift up. Drum roll. And this is incredible. Last time I came across something like this was back in 2018 when I was working in auctions. How gorgeous is that? This is an Hermes custom made, a custom made VIP men's grooming kit. It is designed to carry all your essentials. And I just took smell of this and it smells like Old Spice. Old Spice or Musk, like a gentleman. It almost has a cigar smell to it. I think this is incredible. Look, everything is complete. It has the original comb. It has the shoe brush. It has all the original bottles. These are pewter bottles, signed Hermes. Oh my God, this is absolutely, this is this is for real collectors and everything's designed so it fits perfectly inside this compartment look it has all these cases it's where you can put all your bits inside two cologne bottles which you can decanter all your um as many's in uh also it has original look at that original tortoiseshell comb by hermes i mean it is absolutely stunning. Look, it even has a shoe horn. But I want to show you, I need to put this down. What made it for me, like one of the compartments, when you open it up, look, oops, it still has the original clipper. Mm -hmm. These are all signed Hermes, look. Isn't this amazing? Absolutely amazing. And Celine and Bucklebutt has sold. Oh, amazing. Congratulations. Oh, what is in here? Oh my gosh, is that for? Oh, I can't believe it. This little pouch which still has its original razors. These are razors for men's grooming. Oh, so this must be the grooming where you attach the razors onto the here and then you attach it onto the handle so men could do their grooming. Isn't that, I just think this is just so gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. These things do not come on the open market. These would be normally, not for buy it now prices, this would be offered at auction, at specialist auctions. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Uh, has lots of these little compartments where you can put all your items in there. This would make the best Father's Day gift, even if you don't use it as a curio, as a decorative item to be in your study or the library or as a coffee book table um, or the coffee book. It is just how, like, how fun you would have showing all your guests this incredible piece. I know, it is so, so old school. So this unique one of a kind piece is up and the price is, oh look, does it say Hermes on there? Oh no, it doesn't. I'm discovering more and more. Oh, I'm, I, keep, I keep seeing, looking at more things. Oh, what does that say? That's so cool. Yes, so uh, what's the price for this one? It is. Uh, it is pinned. Okay, it is £2,995, uh, which is roughly, I can't see, uh, to 3765 US dollars. 
to me this price you, you, you can't even put a price because you just cannot buy this item the fact it's under the 3k mark i think it's you know it's affordable it's it's, it's an accessible price look at the car hardware it, it's even in the shape of the h ah oh, it is absolutely gorgeous and i just think the little case is such a sweet design and it's so small and compact very slim fitting has all the cellier stitching the saddle stitching which um Hermes is known for and it's in this beautiful Bordeaux box calf so and it has all its original pieces inside for only £2,995 I would date this around about the 50s and 60s from when I was doing a little bit of research a similar models were offered uh, at auction around this period and they dated it back so yes that is absolutely stunning and another scarf I sold. Oh, which scarf I sold? This one, the fuchsia one. Oh, fuchsia, oh, amazing. So if you love that piece, I'm gonna show you the next piece. This might be a bit more practical, actually. So, who is looking forward to serving cocktails, picnics in their garden oh. Oh. on a Hermes wicker tray? How gorgeous is this? It's a super large tray. I don't want to carry it too much. It's quite heavy. Um, it's made of Barania wicker. Uh, was it Ossier? No, sorry. Ossier wicker, which is the official name for wicker. Has a glass top, the original glass top, not broken. And it has this leather uh, Epson uh, straps. And it is side Hermes Paris on the side. So, oops, I am gonna hurry it up. Imagine, who wants lemonade and cake and champagne, <laughs> kids? Okay, don't get any food spilled on there. Do not put a light match on there. How gorgeous is that? Or you can use this as a tabletop in your garden. It's in incredible condition. And it is amazing. So there you go. And we'll pin the price of this item coming up. It's just such a fun piece. It is. Yeah. I think it's called Ossier Wick Wicker. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I buy this just to put Aldi Prosecco on it. <laughs> <laughs> or little prosecco on it. <laughs> I think this is such this as just like this. Those two last items, the men's grooming kit and this tray, uh, was the highlight of my trip. I think. Definitely. I just think you just don't get offered these unusual homewares. So, and the price is just coming up. And if you can see, it does say Hermes Paris there. So this tray is £1,500, which is US dollars Oh, I can see Nikos saying something is gorgeous. He's in the men's He's group. About the grooming kit. Is he talking about the grooming I think kit? So. Or the tray. Either yeah, way. they're both gorgeous. As well as me, who's holding <laughs> them. <laughs> so, yes, so that's available. I'm going to put that down because it's quite heavy. Um... Right, maybe I should do more classic. Uh, more Chanel, maybe? <laughs> so Brenna's saying, can I buy a chain or the tray and wear it? <laughs> I think you broke your neck. But... <laughs> you, could, you could look like, well, you know, like in the cinema or in the theatre, you could be selling ice cream oh, or all that. <laughs> yes, Lisa Joan, I actually think it's a great um, home interiors. You could just buy a stand for it. You could put your coffee table, like coffee table books, serve coffee on it, or put a jar of um, uh, flowers on there. So lots of things. So anyway, those uh, incredible two pieces are available to purchase. One's at £2,995 and the other one is £1,500. So go ahead and tap if you want to see more images for those items. So let's go back to, uh, let's do some... Let's do some more classic flaps. I'm trying to remember what I priced these so it's nice and accessible. Let's do this tall one. So, this is the Chanel classic flap. 
This is AAU0007, AAU00, AAU0007. So this is like a classic flat, but it's kind of different because it is a tall, a tall classic flat. So it's slightly elongated higher in height, uh, crafted from lambskin leather. It's um, in good condition with just gentle signs of wear. It has a handy back pocket. Uh, it's nice and clean, minimal wear to the hardware. It has that classic turnstile lock, a double flap, and it has a, a interior, nice clean interior. Comes with its original uh, serial sticker, which is just about intact. And it's a one series from 1989 to 91. Has good gold, gold tone hardware. And, um, and this is like the classic flat, but it's slightly taller in um, height. You can wear it over the shoulder or you can wear it cross body style. And you can also wear it over the shoulder like so. It's in good condition. And let me just show the condition of the um, corners again. And, um, and this is a nice, I think this is a good entry price point it is. for a classic flat. I can't quite remember. <laughs> it's about to go up right now. Yeah. So the price of this, I think it's going to go very quickly. Be peeled, eyes peeled, ready. It is just £2,995. Uh, which is 3,765 US dollars. Um, this is an incredible price for a vintage style classic flat. Um, if you are after a classic flat and um, you want something under 3K, this is the time to purchase it. Now, this normally would be in three and a half thousand pound range. So it's an incredible price. So there you go. And all you need to do is just tap on that icon. I'm going to move on to the more classic flaps. Uh, this time I might do a jersey one actually. I do like this jersey one coming up. Ooh, yeah, oh, amazing. Yeah. Which one? Um, one? I believe. Yeah. Mm. Gold chain one. Guys, this the scarves have almost sold out. I believe we've got three left. Yeah. So if you really want to um, buy a, uh, a Mother's Day present, I I suggest you quickly tap on the handbag icon to see what we have available and to see what we have featured so far. We've got, um, we're almost halfway through. There are more goodies on the way. So keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> so next up, we have another classic and this is a Jersey vintage classic. And this is really nice. This is an older piece. Um, I do love a vintage Jersey. Uh, have, I've just noticed a slight wear there, but um, the back is nice and clean. It features the bijou chain, nice and clean. Uh, the uh, bijou chain is in excellent condition. You can see the original gold gilding on there. And, and it's nice and clean there. And it is finished with a contrasting red silk grain lining. This looks like a very old piece, actually. Uh, the year is 1986 to 1988. Oh, so it is a zero series from, so it's from 1986 to 1988. Comes with a serial sticker only. Uh, you can wear it over the shoulder. And this is equivalent to a nine inch small classic flap. This is a nine inch small classic flap. You can uh, wear it over the shoulder or you can wear it doubled up. And uh, you can just about wear it. Let me see if I can wear it as a crossbody style bag. Oh, yes, that's good. You can wear it as a crossbody style bag, a high cross. It is achievable. Uh, I'll just sh show you the condition again. Yes, the jersey, I just think jerseys is a really, really nice alternative to um, uh, leather. Um, it's only £2,900, 
which is 3,646 US dollars. Uh, I just need to point out there is just one little scoff mark here, but all the rest of the bag is in nice, good, clean condition. And if you're interested in this vintage piece, this is uh, come to the serial sticker only. It's a zero series from 1986 to 88. All you need to do is just tap on that icon. So yes, and I think the Bijou chain is absolutely stunning. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful design. All right, and then let's see what else do we have. Uh, oh, let's do this one. It's a nice story to it. So we have up this reissue. Somebody mentioned reissue. So this is the reissue. This is AAT8851. So we have a reissue chain. This is uh, the 227, so it's equivalent to 10 inches across. So it's a good medium size. It's uh, made from aged calf leather or deer leather, and it has that slightly aged, um, distressed look in almost like a light blue gray eye um, colorway uh, it has a silver hardware and what's the good thing about these reissue bags they're actually designed to be worn crossbody so the strap is slightly longer but this bag is not just any old 2.55 so this is the actual name of the bag this is called the 2.55 reissue so the 2.55 refers to the rectangular lock and this is the original lock that Chanel used um, when she um, created the classic flat bag in uh, February 1955. So that hence the acronym 2.55, so 1955. So I'll just show you the two differences of the lock. So you've got the Mademoiselle's uh, CC Turnstile lock here, which came about when Karl Lagerfeld joined Chanel in 1983. And this is the original, this is the reissue lock. Now what makes this bag special is, I need to show you the inside. This is the 50 year anniversary model. So can you see, this is the 2.55 50 year anniversary. So in 2005, um, Chanel re reissued the same model again and actually um, inscribed the 2.55 inside. So this is the 50 year anniversary model. And it's, um, so any lock, that was produced from two, 2005 onwards is called the reissue 2.55. And um, this is just absolutely delightful. This is a real, um, for those who collect Chanel, this is a limited edition. Only, um, there was only a limited supply or runs produced um, in the anniversary, the 50 year anniversary of the uh, classic flat bag that Chanel launched in 1955. It comes with its, uh, dust bag and card and oops, it is nice and clean inside i love that contrasting burgundy lining against that gray blue exterior and um, just to show you these bags are designed with a longer chain so these are bijou chains are designed with a longer chain and you can wear this as a crossbody style bag so very, very collectible. Actually, I have a reissue bag. And out of all my vintage bag, the reissue bag is something I use every day. It's very, very practical. I actually use it for travel because um, I love the way I can put my passport in that first compartment or I can put the passport in the back nice and safe. So if you need to grab items, it, you, know, you know it's close by. You can also wear this bag as a shoulder strap. And you can also wear this bag as a single strap, but definitely it's designed to be worn as a crossbody style bag. So the price of this bag is up. It is £3,900, which is US uh, dollars Remember, this is the 50 year anniversary limited edition 2.55 bag. And these don't come on the resale market often. So if you're looking to add to your collection and the significance of the 50 year anniversary, it is inscribed in here. You need this bag to be added to your collection. And it's a great price for less than 4,000 pounds. And overall, the condition is fabulous. It's good usable condition, includes serial card, serial sticker and card. These and dust bag. if there are any corner issues. No, no, let me just show you. Like nothing too significant. I mean, there is light wear 
to be expected as this is, is a pre-loved bag, but there's no major scuffing. No major scuffing there. I think this is a really nice colorway. It's like, it's like a neutrally lavender gray tone blue. Yeah, nice and clean along the back. And the hardware is excellent. So I hope that helps me with your decision. Okay, other, oh, let's do your favorite. Now, let's do another Chanel. Oh, my favorite. This was actually one of our surprising favorites. We just saw in the description satin walk style bag and we're like it could be anything but when we saw this we thought oh this is absolutely adorable um it's a sh it's by chanel and it has a, it's crafted from gold satin if you've got any weddings coming up this or event events this is the perfect perfect bag it has this beautiful almost demonte like bijou brooch style applique design um look it has that gorgeous cc logo um shoulder strap it's a really cute little short shoulder strap. It's definitely for evening wear, so you can wear it over the shoulder. Or you can tuck in a chain and it could be a little clutch. Yes, because it's got, um, yeah, you can tuck in the chain like this. It comes with a cereal sticker. It has a dust bag. And this bag is from um, the 10 series. It's nice and clean. I just love that champagne gold colorway. Uh, oh, there's so many comments I didn't even see. Uh, anything I need to catch up with? Okay, amazing. Has a lovely pop lock closure, you can see there. Great condition. I've just tucked in the strap, and to me, that is a perfect little evening bag. I just love that beautiful embroidery. Is that gorgeous? It's like Demontes with little um, appliques. Lovely condition. Uh, you know, it's such a petite beauty. So this little satin style wok is £1,795, which is $2,256 US dollars. And all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. Now, uh, another, let's do some affordable LV, because somebody was asking about LV. And I hope there was a lady called Anna, Anna, oh, I can't remember now. You came in early. I hope you're watching the show because uh, you are asking, you came into the store and you were asking my opinion. You needed an LV organiser, but the agenda wasn't quite what you were after. Oh, I think this was the one I was trying to explain that that was coming on on our island show. This is the LV organiser. It is AAT5, oh sorry, 323. Yeah. So really, really practical, stylish. Um, LV um, high, uh, no, it doesn't come with a um, dust bag, I'm afraid. It comes with cereal sticker only, but we'll provide you with a complimentary luxury promise dust bag. Pretty, hope that helps. So, a monogram organizer, uh, lovely condition, nowhere to the edges. I actually think this is a good unisex item. It's trifold, pop lock closure, and inside there is a card section, so you can put your cards in. Um, nice and clean inside, there's a section where you can put um, documents or receipts. There's an extra pouch here to put your receipts and things. And what's, for me, what's really practical, it has this little built-in coin purse section, so you can keep all your um, coins in there or anything loose in there. This item's only £295, which is 370 US dollars. And um, the icon of this item is just coming up and you can purchase that item. I think the lady who came in, you wanted something to keep all your documents in, especially when you're, you were working, you needed to keep your FOB card around you, um, just all your, your ID and everything. This would make a great item. And it will definitely, definitely fit a passport in there as well. So there you go, £295. Now, another great practical item, oops, is, please bear, sorry about that, guys. Another great practical item is 
ALV port document, and this is the large GM size. Um, Father's Day coming up, I think it's in June, maybe in a month's time. Yeah, yeah. Lovely condition with a monogram design. I would actually even use this as a good um, work um, clutch. Laptop, laptop place. Definitely as a laptop place. Let me just grab my laptop. Amazing for travel, that's it, a fervent expression. Uh, this is the 13 inch MacBook Air. Um, mine's the smaller size black book. Definitely will fit up to a 15 uh, inch MacBook or laptop. Has the um, side zipper on the side. Great condition. No major signs of wear. Uh, has a, work, uh, a zip, zipper in good working order. I'll just show the inside one more time. You, I know you hardly, hardly ever see these. Lovely and clean. Wood and ATCM, yes, because, um, are you talking about the Celine belt? Because I'm afraid that I sold unless you bought it, Abby. Yes, it would, because I am a uh, US 8 and it fitted me. So it would definitely fit you, Abby, at a US 6. There's actually lots of um, whole compartments, so you can actually adjust accordingly. And I had it on the lo longest setting, so the largest setting. Nice and clean inside. Um, this is a uh, from 2001 collection, and this a pochette a document canvas pochette is only £395. The icon of this item will be coming up shortly. So, all you need to do is just tap on that icon. So, another great little bag is the mini pochette i know somebody was asking about pochettes earlier sorry i did have this pochette this is the papillion pochette it's so adorable it is so cute what can you put in it who cares it's just so <laughs> cute look if you've got any nieces or nieces or nephews um who who deserve uh, a bougie louis vuitton pencil Maybe case i would wear this you would wear it now as a bag, as a bag. bag. Well, it's designed to be as a little mini handbag. It is so adorable. The condition is amazing. Look at the fichette leather. Hardly any um, tarnishing or any um, patina to it. It's lovely and clean. And it has a little a zipper pull. Uh, it's signed Louis Vuitton. Excellent condition inside. It doesn't feel sticky. Just such a nice, clean condition. And it has a little lobster clasp. And how would we use this? You would, you could use it as as a bag as a on its bag. own. You could add a full chain, maybe. Like yeah, you, exactly. You can add a crossbody chain to it, or you could add it to an existing bag. Oh, so, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to show you this bag. This I will show next, actually. This is the sack shopping bag. Uh, sometimes these bags will come with its own little hook pull where you can attach bags like this and it could be an extra security, internal security pouch for your existing bag. So there. So you can put that inside and it could be a handy little extra bag inside like so or i've seen other people do this and it looks quite cute uh let me grab it uh, put it through an existing handle and look how cute does that look? I love that. A little pouch. You keep your key, keys in there. It's a bag within a bag. Bag on bag trend. So this little pouch is just too cute. It's up. The image is just there. Yes, exam. You can. Ha I agree. You can hang hang it off your um, never fall. Uh, such a cute little bag. Great condition. Yeah, you can use it as a little wristlet as well. I agree. 
and the price of this is I think it's 200 it is 275 uh, <laughs> it is 275 pounds which is a four, 345 US dollars yes it's it, the, uh, honestly the last two hours has flown by so it's gone dark you can even see oh no I thought that was the moon but that's just the light <laughs> in my room <laughs> It's a shooting star. It's an alien. No, it's just the light in my room. <laughs> yeah. So um, that is £275, which is $345. US dollars. All you need to do is just tap on that icon. Now, sack shopping. Let's do this bag. Um, I, I wasn't able to get any Neverfalls for this trip. However, I think this is better than Neverfall. Um, the ne this uh, sack shopping is now a discontinued style. However, I feel like this is the precursor to the um, very popular Neverfall. So um, it's designed to be a very large um, shopping bag to put all your groceries. Um, it's about 40 centimeters across, so it's a very large bag. Um, it has the fichette leather um shoulder back uh, shoulder straps with a canvas exterior it's nice and clean with very minimal wear along the corners of the bag ah i've just seen there is a white mark there yeah there's a white little paint mark there um uh, the exterior, main exterior is nice and clean with light water marks and patina to the straps And it is nice and clean inside with no stains and it has internal little zip pocket as well. So, it's a really, really cute little shopping bag. And the price will be shortly revealed. It is only £495, which is 622 US dollars. Um, and the icon will appear very shortly. There we go, it's just there. So tap on the icon if you want to see further imagery and information on that bag. Uh, we have another Louis Vuitton bag while we're on the roll. We have the Noe bag. And what's nice about this bag, we actually have it in the Azure um, Damier print. Uh, normally I get these in the monogram, but it's nice to have this uh, Damier uh, Azure colorway, which is befitting because it's very, um, in keeping with the upcoming summer and spring. Great as a holiday bag. Large GM size. And let's see if you remember, what is it designed to carry? Whoever could type in the answer very quickly. Oh, quiz time. Yeah, what is it designed to carry? The No Way. Yeah, Abby, well done. It is designed to carry champagne. So in the 1930s, a uh, reputable champagne company approached Louis Vuitton. Um, they want to design a picnic bag that can hold five bottles of champagne. So uh, four, up, uh, four bottles upright and the fifth bottle is upside down. So it's nestled in between the four bottles. Uh, that's how strong these bags are. They're designed to carry five bottles of champagne. The condition is great. Sign Louis Vuitton. The fichette leather is lovely and clean. The bottom does show light signs of use. And there is a little bit of wear. Oh, the sack, um, the shopping sack sold. Oh, sack shopping sold. Yeah. Amazing. Where did I put it? Oh, congratulations. We're doing a good evening to this evening. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations to the buyer of sack shopping. Um, it is a good bag, actually. I keep meaning to get myself one, um, but of course it keeps selling out. <laughs> so I have to find myself another one soon. Yeah, it has to be very quick. Right now, I could do with this well, dish. Well, you have to cook. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'll have water for now. It'd be nice to have some champagne. Well, I might, I might treat Jessie to champagne later. So Aww. she's been working so hard. So it is lovely and clean. Um, it's got hardly any wear inside. And this uh, Azure Noe in the GM size is a 
695 pounds to 695 pounds which is 873 us dollars so right uh let's do some jewelry do you want to see some jewelry we've got some chanel jewelry actually uh before we start wrap winding down so some chanel jewelry we have this Coco model. How cool is this? Coco model medallion chain in this beautiful Rolo chain, 24 karat gold gilding with the hook and eye closure. It is signed Chanel. How cool is this? Absolutely stunning. Amazing condition. I can see you guys. Are you guys all making plans? I've got a FOMO now. <laughs> um, so you can wear it as a long style chain. Or I think how the trend is now, everyone wants to wear it as a choker style. Uh, let me, how do I do this? The choker style necklace. I won't just do it up because I might garrot myself, but. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I can do it. Oh, yes, I can do it. That looks so cool. It does, doesn't it? Yes, it's the Rihanna chain. There. How cool is that? Wow. It is stunning. So for those who watched um, Elena last Wednesday, by the way, if you're a fan of um, costume jewellery, uh, Elena and I do a show every Wednesday, 10 a.m. We call it the Vintage Power Hour. So um, our next one's coming up on Wednesday, the 5th of May or 3rd of May. So keep an eye on that show. So we'll be showcasing lots of vintage um, costume jewellery. So this is uh, the Coco model uh, Chanel. So it's Coco Chanel. Uh, really lovely statement piece. Super fun. Uh, like Sabrina said, it was featured... Um, featured on Rihanna recently. Rihanna is a huge fan of vintage Chanel costume jewellery. It's in excellent condition, signed Chanel. Yes, oh, thank you. This is actually, guys, it's a cashmere cardigan, cardigan and it's vintage Chanel. Oh, it's actually Chanel? Yeah, it's a two-piece set. Oh. Yeah, it's one of my first vintage clothing that I bought almost 10 years ago now. So, Oh, where are you guys going for dinner? <laughs> oh, I'm getting that FOMO. FOMO. Oh, where are they going? I'm sure you'll get the invite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the necklace is coming up. This actually, this necklace is actually referenced in um, a uh, Karl Lagerfeld campaign from 1988. Uh, it's a picture of uh, the house muse and model Ines de la Fessange. And she's sleeping like this, and she's dreaming of costume jewellery. And one of the pieces lying now is actually this Coco Mark Chanel chain. So this chain is two thousand two hundred pounds, which is two thousand seven hundred and sixty-six US dollars. So we've got that one. We also have some turn stop, turn lock bracelets. So let me just quickly with show you those pieces. We have, um, we have AWL 3466. So of course, when it comes to collecting costume jewellery, one of the things that you need to collect if you're getting into it, you have anything turn lock is a sure winner. Turn lock bracelets are incredible. Um, uh, Red Chanel, what well, the cashmere one, Olivia, if you can confirm. To the cashmere one you wanted to see. Uh, this is the turn lock bracelet with a large chunky chain. Uh, anything turn lock, like I said, is a good investment because it's become an iconic classic piece. It's often associated with now with uh, with Chanel. This is the larger size um, uh, bracelet, and this is a fully functioning turn lock. I've just put that on there. Ha look, look at the gilding. It's incredible. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful uh, with no tarnish, excellent gilding. 
it's incredible it is actually signed a chanel from the 96 collection i think so that's the chanel logo at the back incredible condition and like i said it has a fully functioning turn lock oops did it the wrong way around Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So while the price of that one comes up, I'm going to quickly show Olivia a recap of the scarf. Uh, the uh, bracelet is £1,795, which is $2,256. US uh, The cashmere scarf, it's almost like a raspberry red. Uh, it's 100% cashmere. Um, it's not hasn't got any Chanel logo, so it's a very much a plain scarf. However, the Chanel lo uh, label is still intact. Let me just show you. There you go, made in the UK. It's a nice a neck scarf. It's roughly around about four, fifth, under fifty centimeters wide, but in terms of length, it's one hundred and eighty centimeters. So it's quite a lot, a long neck, and you can wear it as doubled up like so and it's almost like um a double faced cashmere double faced cashmere it's got nowhere to it no moth damage and no piling either and um lovely fringing as well so no problem that is 395 pounds which is roughly 494 us dollars uh abby yes the gold buck it is gold buckle and it would fit a US 6, correct? Because it fits it to me when I demonstrated and I'm equivalent to a US 8. So if it fitted me, it'll definitely fit you. Yeah. Ah, uh, thank you, Mel, for joining. That is great. So I'm gonna be now, let's, maybe I should do, Oh, I'm missing some bags. Hold on a second. Shall we do a Chanel shopper? We haven't even yes. featured this. And um, we're going to be winding down the next 10 minutes. So it's been an incredible evening. We have. Uh, yeah, you guys have done some amazing purchases. So I'm really, really pleased. We've got a Chanel um, calf skin tote with a CC logo. Love this. The uh, shoulder strap great condition just light wear to the corners of the bag and this is the shopper style um, chanel bag um for those who follow claire chanel who is our creative director she has the light blue light baby blue version of this bag and it's a great work bag um the chain feels nice and comfortable you can definitely fit in a laptop there's a laptop here And it fits very, very comfortably here. It is nice and clean inside. And it, it includes a serial sticker. It's a three series from 96 to 94. And it has a little interior pocket as well. So it just comes with the serial sticker only. And it's a good everyday size. And the price of this is £2,100, which is US dollars All you need to do is just tap on the... Um, no, it, the uh, logo is only for one side. So this is the front size where it's a Chanel. And it's plain on the back. Uh, pretty and it's nice and clean it has a little internal pocket it has this serial sticker intact and let's see let's... any YSL we don't have any YSL, no YSL this evening I've got a Fendi Fendi Galleria or what about the Dior oh yeah that's one yeah that's a good one 
Okay, uh, after this one, I might show two little cool Chanel's and then we'll do a recap of what's available. So if you want to see the vintage Hermes again, uh, just do let me know and just uh, put your note in the comment while I will start winding down. The um, Chanel tote is, is the logo on both sides? No, one just side? one side. Right. Yeah, so the Chanel logo on that tote, which just popped up, is only available on the front. Yeah. So this is the Dior um, Boston bag. It's in good condition. Uh, one of the sought after bags, but l everyone loves a good old fashioned Dior Boston bag. This is the Dior oblique design from the 70s. Uh, it shows light wear to the corners of the bag. Nice clean bottom, uh, light wear to the uh, edges there. The handles are also shows very light usage and it's a zip top opening bag and it's equivalent to like a speedy 30. The speedy 30, a good everyday bag. Inside, it is nice and clean. And it has a little um, pocket as well. So let me open it up. It's just a good little everyday bag and it's only £495, which is uh, 622 US dollars. So all you need to do is just tap on the above icon. Uh, very highly collectible. This is a vintage piece from the 70s and 80s and it will be available. Just £495, which is roughly around about 600 US dollars and it's there. All you need to do is just tap on the icon. Yes, sure. Corners are really good. Light wear there. That's corner one. Corner two. Light wear there. And nice and clean. There's no like yellowing spots because normally over the age of that you get these what we call foxing, which is like little age spots. Um, we don't have that here. Handles also show light wear. The interior is nice and clean. Uh, let me just show you the wear on that one corner again. It's just a bit of scuffing there, but it doesn't um, affect the overall integrity of the bag. And it's blue as well, that's right. This is the classic, the original, out of all the colorways, blue, it was the blue and navy first, then followed by the Bordeaux and followed by the brown colorway. There you go. Oh, you did you? Oh, that's nice, Ham. That's cool. Uh, right, let me just show these two unique ones and we'll start winding down. I've got two really cool Chanel bags. Love these. Two quick questions, Winnie. Yeah. Um, is there anything similar to the Celine tote that Hannah missed out on? Which one's the Celine the tote? The one with the chain, the shopping tote. No, the only Celine we have left now. Something that's similar size. To, to that size. Are you after Chanel? Because we do have something in Chanel, this one, but it would be in the 2,000 pound range. I'm guessing you are probably want to see something a little bit um, cheaper. And is so. there a Kelly Return in black? I think it's a navy. It's navy. Uh, yes. So we do have... Oh, I didn't show this, actually. Yeah. We do have a Kelly Return. This is a size 35. Uh, Kelly Return in Adwar, Adwar, which I think is colour slate. And this is Swift leather so this is a size 35 in swift leather um has a gold tone hardware i believe if you could show me the i think it's 2008 collection um uh, it is uh yeah 2009 collection sorry and it is eag 6841 eag 6841 and it this is a size 35 so i'll just show you the size comparison this is a 35 this is a 32 so it's slightly bigger. So 32 here, 35 here. Uh, lovely condition, comes with the dust bag, comes with the original shoulder straps. 
So let me just put, this is actually would be considered a travel Kelly because of the size uh, or even a work style Kelly. Work like everyday work bag Kelly. So it comes with a shoulder strap. Uh, it comes with a key and clochette. It's a pre-owned piece. Good clean condition. And the price of this Kelly is just six thousand five hundred pounds. So two thousand and nine pre-owned Kelly with. Uh, with uh, the original shoulder strap. So this is the original shoulder strap, dust bag, key clochette, and this is the travel size um, Kelly 35. Let me just show you again. And this, these, this is the color Adwar, which is a slate um, gray black. I think I'm gonna start calling it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's calling a night now. So, is there anything you want me to recap? Let me recap what's still available. Oh, actually, let me just quickly show you these ones. I love these ones. Yeah. I don't know if you only want them, but I just love them because they're Chanel. First up, we have this vintage Chanel vanity case bag. How gorgeous is that? It is crafted from red lambskin leather. It has that wonderful CC logo top handle and it's a vanity style cap with a singular from the central point a shoulder strap you can wear this over the shoulder so it is such a cool design isn't it and you can also wear this as a crossbody style bag i think this is wonderful absolutely this is why i think people love vintage the design is just so unique nice and clean with minimal wear to the um, condition of the uh, lambskin. Yes, I'll show, no problem. Actually, this one's amazing. Is it? Yeah. Mm, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Uh, lovely and clean, like a nice vanity case. Comes with a serial sticker only. It's a one series from 1989 to 91. And this vintage tassel bag is only £1,995, which is 2508 US dollars. And it's in great condition. Look. Bam, 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 bam. I mean, what more vintage do you want? I think it has everything you want in a vintage bag. And it's available now. It's just put, it just popped up. Another great vintage bag. I just love this, actually. Uh, it is purple. You don't very, you know, you rarely get coloured Chanel bags. This is a caviar skin tote. In a bucket star bag in deep purple in caviar skin. How? It's absolutely gorgeous. The, the design is so gorgeous. Uh, the, yeah, I can show there was the Dipti wanted to see the Coco Chanel Mark necklace and I will show the tall one next. So guys, I'm actually, this is my last bag of the evening. So please kick on the handbag icon. If there's anything still available and you're still having a quandary about it, do let me know and I will show you the condition. And remember guys, um, after I've been switching off this collection, what we have shown in the last 48 hours, including yesterday's um, as well as today's, it'll be closing around about midnight tonight, UK time midnight bst time so um as we have to get ready to go back to the uk and anything not sold will be switched off and be given back to all the vendors so we have this beautiful purple caviar skin bag with the cc logo lovely condition love the two little bauble um, icons there and there's multiple ways you can wear this you can wear this as a handbag the way you drawstring it like that or you can do across this from one side you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you could 
push the shoulder strap on the other side and wear it as a crossbody style bag. So lots and lots of different, um, uh, lots and lots of different uh, ways of wearing this bag. This bag comes with its original dust bag, the Chanel dust bag here. And it has um, the beautiful lining inside. It's excellent. It has a little bonus pouch as well. It, it has its original serial sticker. And I believe, it feels like it's got a card. Yes, it's got its original serial card as well, the um, authentic card. It's a uh, two series from 91 to 94. It's nice and clean. And the price of this one is coming up shortly. I know the purple is a show showstopper, I agree. It's such a lovely, lovely colour. Okay, the price is pinned. This bag is only £1,995. This is incredible. This is such a good price for this unusual purple caviar skin vintage bucket style bag. Is that wonderful? £1,195, which is US dollars So it has a leather rolled um, shoulder strap as well. So, lovely. Okay. Right, so um, Dipti wanted to see the Coco Mark. Dipti, if you're still on there, here. This is the Coco Mark chain. It says Coco Chanel. It's in excellent condition, no tarnish. The hook and eye has the Chanel logo inscribed, it's signed Chanel. Beautiful Rolo chain. It is absolutely lovely. You can wear it as a, um, as intended as a long chain, or you can wrap it around, and you can definitely wear it as a high choker style chain. It comes with a luxury, complimentary luxury promise dust bag only. So there you go, and the icon is pinned up, and I. Uh, Pretty wanted to see the very tall Chanel classic flat bag. Tall Chanel classic flat bag. Okay. So tall classic flat bag. Uh, lambskin leather, light condition. Minor wear to the corners of the bag. Lovely and clean. Uh, the hardware is excellent, pretty. Double flap comes with a serial sticker only. It's a one series. The tall classic flat bag, what makes it different to the regular nine inch classic flat bag, it actually has a built-in zipper pull here. It's got extra storage compartment. Wants to see the yeah. 35 yes navy sure Kelly. the 35 navy kelly is up this is a uh, six and a half thousand pounds with the gold tone hardware this is the 35 from 2009 collection comes with its original strap has the key clochette dust bag show you it's actually generally in good condition it's called the color ardoir which is slate gray and this is swift, swift leather. And it's a return style as well. And overall in condition, and this is only six and a half thousand pounds. And the Red Kelly is coming up. The Red Kelly, vintage Red Kelly 32, uh, A stamp from 1946, box calf, also return style. Just light wear to the corners of the bag. Uh, good condition hardware, light wear to the, actually it's very good condition on the handles. No, no, um, no scratching or uh, cracking on the handles. It comes with a strap 
we're giving you this free strap it isn't chanel it's not signed chanel but it is a free strap so you can use it as a shoulder strap it also comes with its original uh, key clochette and padlock and i believe this is roughly 6495 6495 pounds i know isn't it the fact it's so old as well 1946 just post war and it's, it's just like, it, you know, it's iconic. It's part of history. You're buying a bit of history. So any other bags you want to see? Oh, thank you, Lisa Jane. Thank you. I know it's bedtime. Has it been to the bag spa? Um, it may have, it may have just to color right, um, retouching previously here. Did I say Chanel strap? Sorry, um, air strap. It's getting late. It's ten thirty. <laughs> I've been on the road. We've been, been all over Tolbert. We hours. have been all across <laughs> Ireland, from west to east, with oh. sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Navy Kelly. Navy Kelly. Um, you just showed that one. Yeah, I've just showed it. So I'll just show the Navy Kelly one more time. It's the one in the middle. Comes with the original strap. It's a K35, just to let you know. Very minimal wear to the corners of the bag. It's slate grey, so it's almost like uh, a graphite looking colour, like dark grey. Grey and black uh, with a blue tone, with a blue undertone. It's uh, size 35, I would say it's a good um, travel size. Jen wants to see the wallet, so let me show the wallet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, it's no problem. I, we, we enjoy doing it, Dipti. No problem. Uh... <laughs> You'll have to eat can of beans, Yvonne, if you carry on shopping. <laughs> yeah. And it's in excellent condition inside, Jen. And that's only £295. Oh, great, B. I I hope someone buys this bold golf bag. Should we do a price chop on this? Because actually, I really think this somebody needs to purchase this. So if you can look okay. up the cost for this. Right. So who was it? B, stay on. We might do a price drop on this. Or Jen. I think Jen was wanting this bag. So this is like a Rouge H Epson leather, which is my favourite leather. Just give me one second. So, uh, satchel style, and look at that amazing gold tone hardware with the H logo inside. Adjustable shoulder strap. Oh, I think this is just a gorgeous. Epson's my favourite leather because it's like um, a caviar skin, but much thin, um, much lighter. And um, it's you know, Clements and Togo, although very durable, can be a little bit heavy. So I've done a price drop. It was 995. I'm going to make it 900 pounds. 900 pounds. Come on, guys. I've got YSL bags more expensive than this Hermes bags. <laughs> Somebody has to get it. I just think this deserves a beautiful home. And I think you're going to get so much use out of this bag. So let me just show. I think, I mean, to this, this is gorgeous. This is so heavy. This is definitely 24 karat gold gilding. And it has the Hermes sign there, nice and clean inside. So yeah, a Hermes bag for less than a thousand. Look, we've got rodeo, um, rodeo bag charms for nine hundred pounds. So you get exactly. a whole bag, a bag that no one has for only nine hundred pounds. I just think it's one of those bags. It's worth every penny because you're gonna. It'll just go with everything. It's so practical. Them. Uh, other items before we wrap up. Okay, so I want to see the uh, Chanel vanity as well. Chanel vanity, the red one. Or I think the um. Ooh, let me see the black one. The black vanity. This one, the black patent one. Oh yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an incredible price. Black vanity. Who wanted to see this black vanity? 
Somebody has to grab this. And your phone would definitely fit in the um, yeah. Hermes Border Golf. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't even... Um, I'll just demonstrate. 100%. Yeah. iPhone 13. Look, definitely. Your whole life will fit in this. It's like the Mary Poppins of bags. Everything will fit in there. And it's nice and deep as well. So, let me just show... The patent leather. Ari, just stay on. Um, please don't go just yet. I just let me uh, focus on this bag. I'll see what I can do on the purple Chanel. The purple Chanel, already at that price at 1900, is excellent. If you know your vintage Chanel, to buy a Chanel bag for less than 2k nowadays, especially vintage caviar, different color, 24 karat gold gilding, is already a steal. So just stay on. So I love this. This is two and a half thousand pounds. It's iconic runway piece. They made this in both in painted as well as canvas. And um, it, I remember seeing a white canvas, yellow and pink canvas. And uh, the painting was available in white and black. So I just love that fixed handle. And I love those detachable chain straps. And it comes with, it's an amazing condition. It doesn't feel sticky. It's often with a vintage painting, it does feel sticky. Comes with the dust bag, full set with the um, the uh, serial sticker and card and booklet. And I feel like a posh Paddington. You know that Paddington bear? <laughs> that little red case. But I've got a Chanel case. So, yeah. And that's available. Do you think Hermes Spa was, will replace the wheel piece of leather where the lock thing goes? That looks like it's worn out in areas. Huh? Which one? I don't understand. What, here? Nothing is worn. You mean the Songhe arms? They probably could. It doesn't, it's still very strong and secure. So, yeah. Right, so that was the patent. Uh, somebody wanted to know if I could do a price slash on this bag. So if you could bring up the price. Yeah. So Ari, I'll just show you while we work out the price. I'll take ninety five pounds off. One of them. Yeah, yeah. So the best price I could do is I can take ninety five pounds off. This will be one thousand nine hundred pounds now. One thousand. 900 pounds 1900 pounds i mean the red one the crossbody oh ah sorry you mean this one the bold uh we call it the ball bag <laughs> i couldn't remember ball the actual, golf. ball the golf uh it's actually very strong and secure i don't think nothing re needs replacing at all Okay, so Ari, if you're still on, we have um, uh, lowered the price from £1,995 to £1,900, so £95 off. Great condition, comes with um, its serial sticker and card, I believe it's a two series, so 91 to 94. So Nicole wants to see the Navy Kelly again. Right, what's the best price on this one? EAG 6841. EAG 6841. Comes with the original strap. Just light wear. To, this is a uh, swift leather. Okay, so Nicole, for you, you get first dibs because I know you've asked several times. I'm reducing this Hermes Kelly 35 for you. You get first dibs 
from 6,500 to 6,395 pounds. So I'm taking 105 pounds off, 6,395. It comes with its original strap. It comes with a dust bag and it comes with its key and clochette, 6,395. So that's the key and crochet and the key. I think that is a great price. To 6395 from six and a half thousand pounds, 6,500 to 6395. I'll just show you what it looks like on me. And remember guys, you can use split it uh, as long as you have the full amount available on your credit card. Uh, then the uh, company Spit It will see if you're eligible and then you can opt to have what payment plan you want. And it's in uh, interest three, you can have three, six, nine, 12 months. If it's 12 months, you're looking at what? What's 12 months? 6,000 pounds over 12 months. That's less than 600 pounds. Yeah. yeah. That's doable, I think. And it's a size 35. Chanel tote to recap, please. Julia, is it the black one with the big CC? Say yes or no. I believe it is. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So this is the Chanel tote with the big CC. It is um, just CC on one side, no CC on the other. Good condition. The hardware is excellent. Light wear to the corners of the bag, but no damage. And it's a nice, clean interior on the inside. And it comes with a serial sticker. I think it's a four series, three or four series off the top of my head. And it has an internal pocket with a Chanel logo as well. Any price dash to the Dior? Uh, let's have a look. There we go. So that is £2,100. Price slash to the Dior. Yeah, the Ke Kelly is a great price. It's pretty much it really below retail now, I think. It is below retail. Yeah. Exactly. You buy a Kelly, uh, but uh, you buy a Chanel bag for around about £6,500. But the, out of the two Kelly vintage, what increase in value? Um, oh, they're both. Yeah. So, um, Brenna, for you, for being fabulous and funny and witty, we are reducing the Boston bag from 495 to 4,500. Uh, so 450. <gasps> For, yeah, for you, I'm going to make you pay 4,500 <laughs> to 450 pounds, which is, I think, roughly just under about $500, I think. Yeah. Uh, six, so it's uh, 495 down to 450, which is roughly around about 600. So it's like, it's like almost like 70 or 80 dollars off for you. Give Brenna first dibs. If she changes her mind and, and it's open, uh, free for all for anybody who wants to grab that bag. Remember, guys, look, we've only got one hour left. I do need to switch off this collection so me and Jessie could pack and have a drink. <laughs> I need to get her a cocktail oh. or something from the mini bar. <laughs> so, right. Come on, guys. Any, anything else? Oh, Nicole, I know you're, um, you're think considering it, so don't worry. It's still be running. This, what we've featured so far will still be running for the next hour. Yeah. Now, guys, if you have just joined, um, I am in Ireland. I'm doing a vintage special. Yes, I think she's got it. Oh, I think, oh, wait. Did somebody buy it? The vintage tool double flap has sold. Okay, oh. And, yes. Nicole has bought the name. Oh, Kelly. thank you. Oh, Nicole, we did it for you. Amazing. Nicole, is that your first Hermes bag or were you trying to find an everyday Hermes bag that you wanted to use? Um, do let us know, Nicole. Nicole, is it your first time on, uh, on Luxury Promise? Because I've not seen your name pop up before. So, <laughs> Lisa J, 
Jane, you said goodnight one hour ago. I don't know why you're still on. <laughs> look, guys, look. I've still got my slippers on. <laughs> We've got our slippers on. I'm ready for bed. It's pyjamas bottoms at the bottom. <laughs> so congratulations. That has sold. Let's get the um, Navy Ardois Kelly. Amazing. Well done. Nice. Congrats. Congrats. I made another tea. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks, Sabrina, for letting us know. Yay! Oh, I've had so much. I wish there was more hours in the day. I wish I didn't Honestly, get stuck in the middle of nowhere with a sheep and fog. So I would have done this for an hour. I, would have, I could have gone go, uh, get going, but we do have an early start and we do need to start breaking down our night. Yes. So... Um, <laughs> okay, right. Someone wants a final offer. What did we say on this bag? Which one? The red Kelly. Um, Quite a few people are after this. I believe. We'll just look. This is our final slashing or awesome. winny winner price. Winny winner. We have a look. No, there's no price adjustment. Saw that. That is two hundred ninety-five pounds. You buy an All Saints wallet for £295, so no, so I'm afraid that is the final price for that one. It is. Yeah, okay. What we can do, we can knock £100 off, which is equivalent to $120 US dollars. So this was £6495. We can offer this for £6395. £6395. £6395. So, a 1946 vintage Kelly. It is the Stars show. I just think the fact it's post-war. So cool. It is so cool. So, it's a museum. Yeah, definitely a museum piece. It's the same time as Grace Kelly time, you know. Grace Kelly, personally, I think she had, I think, is it a 32 or 35 Kelly she opted for? I really want to get a hold of another Toile box calf Kelly again. Watch this space. Maybe I'll get one. Watch for this space. Watch this. If I manifest it, it'll come. <laughs> believe in manifestation. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, thank you very much this evening. I've had so much fun. Um, thank you very much. And remember... Um, it is a national holiday in the UK and Ireland, so there might be just a slight delay. We probably will be shipping all your orders from Wednesday onwards, so uh, thank you very much for that. And thank you for all your support, and thank you to the lovely um, country of Ireland and the lovely people who have looked after us. Yeah. And um, thank you very much for joining. I hope you've enjoyed this show. I love hosting these shows. Um, let us know if you like the concept of us traveling internationally to find find you all these amazing vintage bags do let us know and let me know what country should we shoot choose next um, Maldives <laughs> I'm thinking Bali but I don't think there's much market for vintage in Bali <laughs> do you love it do you love the fact that we travel uh we try and find you all these amazing uh, oh I must say please travel thank Aww. you um thank you very much Ah, uh, so yes, thank you for it. Philippines! Oh, wow, that would be. Philippines, Jen, would your family host us? <laughs> <Can't be safe laughs> Most now. importantly, would your family cook food for us? <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, oh my gosh. Oh my God, yes, Sydney. I would love to go to, I've never been to Australia. I would love, love to go. So, New Caledonia, ooh, is that in Canada or Wales? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Singapore next oh my gosh <laughs> that would be amazing Melbourne I'd love to go to Melbourne Melbourne actually has a very growing um, vintage scene and actually Australians have a very similar taste aesthetics to the British as in that we're, they're very eclectic very bohemian maybe you have this a um, lot of great designers come out of Australia like Karen Walker um, um, 
oh gosh, Antipodian, Antipodian, that's a really cool brand as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, if Cam is on here, she'll probably tell me all the cool Australian brands that come out of there. Uh, one of the designers I used to work with, how I got into this, is Megan Park. Cam, I don't know if you've heard of Megan Park. Um, she, I was her assistant designer for the first a couple of years, and that's how I learned how to be a textile designer for her as well. Birmingham next, or for, for sure. We would love to do a UK row show. Yes. So yes, for sure, that would be easy to plan. So good night, everyone. Thank you for all your purchases. Thank you for having us, and I'll see you on the next show. Uh, I believe I'll be on Elena's Vintage Show on Wednesday where we'll be doing a power hour of all costume jewellery. So watch us then. Thank you and good night. Oh, Kevin! Oh! oh. Hi, Kevin. Night, night, Kevin. Bye. Kevin's my husband. Oh. <laughs> I was probably wondering where I've been the last two days. Where have you been? Oh, you're on the, you're on the show. <laughs> okay, then. Bye. Bye. Bye.